There has been a disaster tragedy that requires all of your immediate attention. Don't you stand there and judge me like I'm some kind of criminal. I am here merely to tell you that the day will come. I don't give a fuck. You either get used to it or you get lost. I'm working something out. It's called a metaphor. Well, what are you working out? It's secret. That's why it's called metaphor. It's a secret. That's what metaphor means. Secret. <laughs> fuck those dumplings. Broadcasting live from downtown Cleveland. You're supposed to be dead. Sorry to disappoint. Could you, um, roll me one of those cowboys? I'll tell you what. I'd like to bend her over a barrel and show her the 50 states, you know what I'm saying? On MorningShowCentral.com. You want to leave the condom off? Go for it. You think you got issues? Please. You know what? Wait till you get a load of these clowns. Who the fuck are you? Come here to get your weekly fix of Sick and Twisted. Yeah, it's got its tongue up my ass. No! No, 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 it's uncensored, it's uncensored noise. noise. Come on in. Oh, and bring your whore. Pull all this and blow. What the fuck is going on? Showcentral.com. Yeah, that was uh, probably the first sign of the apocalypse. Previously, Previously on Uncensored Net Noise. Quick question. Yeah. What does maximum threshold mean to you? Yeah. Maximum what? Maximum threshold. I would, I could tell you that what means, means you get in there right where it hurts. It feels good. Thank you very much. I was going to say a gaping bloody <laughs> anus, but that's just me. She's fine. She's fine. What? That's hey, cheating. Hey, why do women fake no, orgasm? She's fine. To make them feel better. Because they think we care. That's right. <laughs> How do you make a hormone? Who cares Don't pay if her. you care? <laughs> Who cares if are you, you care? care? As long as you make us feel good. good. Question for real? We do. We do. Okay. Thank you very much. Oh, but that's only from a 47 year old. Oh, that's all right. You know what? That's a 27 year old. You're not 45. <laughs> <laughs> this is just 45. <laughs> are you 45? Right. I'm 43. No, she's not. 43? We're 29 and holding, bitch. <laughs> Everything hey! is closing in. <laughs> All this emptiness. <laughs> Well, we were supposed to have a guest tonight, but uh, evidently that didn't work out. So we'll see what we can do. Oh, it's changing now I feel like I just can't breathe. It doesn't matter where I go, because I just can't sleep without you here. We're supposed to have the band Downcore in studio. Um, Got to call well yeah dom called me about five minutes before or whatever i don't know about an hour ago he called me and told me that something that uh, they couldn't make it due to the fact is that one a couple of the band members were running late from work or something is that what it was dom yes okay so uh that we have to reschedule those guys for another time or whatever i just want to let you know that you make me Hold on, I gotta do some house cleaning. Hey, Jason, come here a minute. Hurry up. Quickly. Yeah. Run. Yeah. Fast. Yeah. Okay, turn my camera a little bit. It's like facing the garbage can. There, that's better. Thank you. I'm surrounded. All these memories. So I posted a picture up on Facebook saying Downcore was supposed to be here and it was a blank set. And then like five, ten minutes later, Sunless Sky posted on there. It says something about they want to come on the show. So we'll see what we can do for those guys. Hey, we too. got one member of MTMBOISD in the house tonight. Oh, Lord. Oh, it's killing me. Hey, if I get a phone call from New York tonight, I'm not answering it. So if you're listening, my friend, don't even call.
uh, the voting started up on the uh, Morning Show Central uh, website right now. So if you go to MorningShowCentral.com, you can go there and pick your uh, pick the <clears throat> Cleveland, Ohio, Cleveland slash Ohio's best band. Vote for your best band. You got and Michael Stanley in there? No. These are all local, unsigned bands. No. Why would I want to have Eric Hart? From Harman? the Strawberries? Really? No, I would no. Are Ted you, Riser? No. I'm surrounded. I'm no, I'm talking about like Demons Within, Morality Check, Impending Lies. Downcore. Uh, Downcore was on there. Yeah, it's still on there. Um, Silver Skull. There's a ton of them up oh, there. Oh, the two guy band, Silver Skull? I think so, yeah. Have you had them in studio? Not yet. I'm thinking. The two brothers? Yeah. They had a drummer and a guitarist. Yeah, but they're pretty good, they're little, little, Yeah, they are. Yeah. I've seen them before. We, I've interviewed them. Have you? Yeah. Was, well, what the fuck, guys? Come on. Get on the show. You hear about Paula Dean? Yeah. <laughs> Throwing out racial. She's got some issues. I thought she had a breast implant. Racial slurs Those are out sausage there. patties. We, we do. Bad. Yeah, we do have our intern. We're going to ask him tonight what he thinks about, uh, you know, this why issue. Are you gonna, why are you going to ask him? Because he's black, so I have to. Jason knows, man. I mean, Jason's been on the show for. Jason, how long you been with us? Yeah, okay, so you you know where I'm going to go with this, right? Thank you. All right, you want to call the show? The number's 888-668-0742. You okay over there? Yeah, I'm singing like... You want me to send that to Tim? Go for it. All right, I will. He knows I love their music. All right, you want to call the show? The number is 888 or get to the website, morningshowcentral.com. If you miss any part of the show, you can go to our website, uncensorednetnoise.com. There you'll be able to find all the archives of this and the past shows that we did. Um, a lot of stuff going on. Uh, we're supposed to Tonight we're supposed to have Don Corn Studio. Uh, they kind of uh, bailed on us tonight. We're going to try to get those guys in sometime in, in a couple months. Deuce? We do, we, we do have an interview with Deuce tonight. We're going to talk to him and their band and all time. that. Well, we're not going to talk to him. We're going to hear an interview. I don't know. Who did the interview? You? and yeah, I didn't. Just, I just, just yeah, did. Dom did the interview at Rock on the Range. He's got like a, a, a flash drive full of like different interviews. And he said, what do you want to hear tonight? And I said, well, what do you got complete? And he said, Deuce. And I'm like, all right, cool. So we're going to hear that interview. I think Dom. that one's even, it's all ready to go for the show. Awesome. So that'll work out. Uh, what'd you do over the weekend, Dom? Oh, man, I got my hand pregnant four times. I bet. I tried to make mouth babies, but it didn't work out. Wait, I wait couldn't stop, find... stop, stop. Mouth babies? Yeah. Um. Are you... Wait, okay. Okay. So... You, know, you ever try to make mouth babies with your woman? Uh, okay. It's like wall babies, but in your mouth. I get it, though, but <laughs> does Kelly... Does Kelly care that you're saying that you're trying to make mouth babies? She's not listening. Well, she probably that. appreciates that he's trying to make mouth babies right. and leaving her alone. Okay. I'm not making my own mouth babies so, myself. I was going to say, are you sucking your own penis? I wish I All could, right. man. So. I wish I wouldn't. You're not that here. flexible. Hell no. If I got he still of, tries, though. He falls I, off the couch and every day. Right. Exactly. If, I, if I can get rid of 40 pounds on my gut and I can get rid of like five ribs, I'm good to go. I bet you could. I'd be like a fucking squid over here. <laughs> I'd be sucking my shit all day and all night. <laughs> oh Lord! All I'd, right, I'd be sucking my testicles right out of my urethra. All right. Well, uh, beside making mouth babies, what else you do? <laughs> hand babies and hand babies. What you do? Um, talk to Bobby Brown. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. The yeah. singer, the hip hop guy, or no, no, no? See, everybody might thought that too. Yeah, right. 
He thought it was my prerogative. Yeah, right. But I was remember um the the woman cherry the, pie. Yeah, the, that's Billy War uh, Billy Morris. That's Warren. Well, yeah, Warren, the yeah. chicken, the, the cherry pie video. Oh, okay. That's who we had on the show. Oh. She was married to Janie Lane. She she did him, and she also did... Um, Tommy Lee. Yep. Okay. So we were wanting to know if, if she was able to um, double dutch with Tommy Lee's cock. I was cock. just going to say, she's brought up <laughs> jumping rope with his penis. Did, did she make mouth babies with uh, I'm sure Janie Lane? I'm sure she did. They had kids together. Yeah. Okay. Michael, Michael almost got um, Bobby Brown pregnant over there. Really? Yeah, I got to give you that interview. You yeah, can I got to hear that. Me to laugh the whole thing. I have to hear that. I definitely do. So uh, you did that, and what else did you do? Um, that it? Did you go see the buffet? No, I haven't been there in a while. You need to go I, see the buffet. I want to get them endorsed on uh, the other radio show. You need to, man. I want to do some live live remotes <laughs> there at the at the station. You that, that's it. The right f- by the olive. Pit no, I'm garden. talking Chinese buffet. Oh, the Chinese buffet. Yeah, I'm talking about. I'm talking Chinese about. Eagle, man. Yeah. They, they did away with them. Did they really? Yeah. Why? I don't know. The one up on Ridge still has it. I gotta go to that one. Then. There you go. I love those. Right, damn right olive, in front of the deli buffets. Yeah. Oh, man. They got like the, um, what is it? The uh, noodles and stuff up there, and then they also have the olives and all this other crap. You're starting to give me a mini Woody. Oh, go up there then. Damn. There you go. Mm-mm. You can go there I'm afterward. In- They're open 24 hours. Are they really? Yeah. They got little chairs they can pull up there. They got like the little little station where you get you the You can get one of them scooters and just drive up oh. there. Damn, I didn't think about that. It's got the basket on the front. Oh, hell yeah. I can take all the empty empty sample things I fill up with. I can put them in the in the basket. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to throw it on the floor. No, I'll put them right there. Well, yeah. speaking of men with uh, shopping carts, there's a guy. Yeah. He, was, he was charged with DUI on one of those little rascal shopping carts said he tried to hit somebody in the parking lot. He tried to run him over. Yeah, a 63-year-old man was pulled over for and arrested uh, for allegedly, uh, you know, DUI. Well, it's not alleged if he got arrested. Uh, driving a motorized shopping cart while under the influence of alcohol. A uh, grocery store employee uh, called uh, the police after seeing the suspect, Merle Mose, uh, drive into the parking lot. Uh, when the officers arrived to the scene, the employee was holding the cart so he wouldn't leave so the cops could arrest him and take him off to jail. In addition uh, to the DUI, Moses was charged with shoplifting because he had in his possession cake. Uh, uh, chocolate chip cookies and a Betty Crocker cake. Well, yeah. If you're in a fucking drive around drunk. You need cake. You need a fucking yeah, cake. Think about it. You got everything you need right there. Did he have anything to drink with him? Does he really have to have anything to drink? Well, he's, he's fucking drunk, drunk, dude. So he's still going to be thirsty. He's going to be thirsty. Well, yeah. true. And if he's got a cake, he's already playing. He's got it down. He needs some milk or something. Uh, as well as, uh, well, see, he, uh, according to the news, uh, the Bart- Bartlett News, yeah. whatever it is, he has a long criminal record, including previous DB- DUI convictions. On, on motorized scooters, too. Mm-hmm. Domestic. Yeah, you know the story, don't you, Jeff? Yeah, it's my uncle. <laughs> so really, <laughs> domestic uh, a domestic assault that he, he was beating people, I guess, or somebody, and uh, criminal trespassing and theft. Uh, Mo's uh, apparently dr- uh, driven the motorized shopping cart while intoxicated numerous times, um, and he tried to run over employees at the shopping. Now was shopping it was that his, was that his um, wheelchair or was it the one that he got? From no, the it was the one from the store. Oh damn! Yeah, he, I think that's hindering his getaway because this yeah. isn't the first time he's been caught. Maybe he, he needs to get out of the scooter. He, he needed, right. He needed to unplug the, um, the power supply and then take off. Take the governor off of it. He thing. only got so far. Yeah. Well, I mean, come on. It's got a shopping cart on the front of it. He's got a Betty Crocker cake in there, and he's got a chocolate chip cookies in there, and he's trying to get away at three miles an hour. In a parking lot. Did you ever see that one video of the one, one guy with the lawnmower? Oh, God, right yeah. The, yeah. The, the John Deere tracker driving yeah. down the side of the road and the cops pull him over? Yeah. Right. He kept going for probably another, I don't know, 50, 60 feet before the cops actually got his attention to pull over. Mm-hmm. It was funny as hell, though. <laughs> so You get fleeting and eluding on a uh, tractor? Yeah. Is yeah. that yeah. valid? That's valid. Yeah, nice. Yeah, it's valid because uh, it's a motorized vehicle and you're on public roads with it. So, yeah, you can get charged with a DUI with it. So. Um, you said that, uh, you didn't do anything else over the weekend. You're good. I, I, other than doing the radio show and, um, I did this show. You got shows coming up where you have to go to them and interview people. Matter of fact, um, um, we might. Yeah. I mean, this shit just, it just pops up. We got some, um, 
some possibilities in the works with um, big things in the works. Yeah, I'll give you an example. I'll give you a, like a teaser. Yeah, give me Phil a teaser. Anselmo. Um, is that a, that's a teaser? Isn't okay, it? that's a teaser. Sort yeah, of from, from Pantera, the singer. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, down. down. So yeah. when super joint ritual? Yeah. So when's this gonna house core? When's this gonna happen? When's, when's that show? August sixth at the House of Blues. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Polka Dot Cadaver's playing at Peabody tonight. Yeah. Yeah. We should be there. My daughter's boyfriend's band's opening up for them. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Did you go see that on Blood and Dance Floor? Not yet. It's not It's not till uh, the couple months from now. Mm. They're not here in Cleveland yet. So. Oh, I've officially started booking bands at um, Tequila Jacks now. Oh, really? Is that yep. what they changed their name to? Yep. Yeah. Okay. It's old Livewire. Yeah. So I'm. I'm so I'm, what do they do? They sell the place out and sold it to somebody else, or yeah. is it just they now, just change names like Billy Morris does no, every, now every this, year? Now this guy here is coming. He owns other, other places, um, other other clubs, but they're not concert venues. Okay. They're Are they all Tequila Jacks? No. Okay. All right. This is the first. As far as I, I know, this is the first name of this, and I thought he was make franchises. And the guy trusts me. What a oh, fool! God. So we got we got one show we're booked to August tenth. Okay. And that's um. Um, Morning wagon. Yeah, I was trying to think of a, a cooler way of saying it. All right. Oh, I thought you were just having old man disease, and we we're like, I was that was half of it. Right. So they're gonna be playing at the Kilo Jacks at yes. Okay. And um, I so mean, is the I, owner of is of uh, the owner of the Kilo Jacks gonna come in studio and talk about his new club? I can do. I can get. I you can know, get, we'll Mark. get him to come in. Mark, I can get him. To come oh, in. Get Mark to come in, and it's we'll real, talk. Really cool guy. I thought his name would be Jack. No. Right. Tequila. Well. Wait, well, I'm, I'm confused now. That lady on MTV, that Nina Blackwood. Get, no, the tequila. What's the one? Sunrise. Yeah, whatever her name is. Tequila banana. Tequila banana. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That chick, whoever she was. I knows. got a question. Have you ever seen your mom naked? No. Well, yeah. You like how that just came out of nowhere? Yeah, I'm I just have. thinking about that. I've, I've never seen my mother naked. I walked in on my mother. At I one did time. find my mother's vibrator once. Oh God, I don't even want to hear this one. To, I said, "What is?" I looked. I said, "Oh." And I, I confirmed my mother. She goes, oh, that's just um, a massager. Yeah, okay. Yeah, what are you massaging with Right, that? from the inside. Right. <laughs> exactly. Wow. So did you ever find your mother's toys, happy toys? Never. Sad toys? Never. Never. I don't think my mother ever had toys. We were moving my buddy one time. Yeah. And we were helping, you know, it was his mom's house. Yeah. And we went up to get the bed from her room. And when we lifted the mattress off of the box spring. Shit, tons of toys? N- Polaroids, dude, worse. I would have rather found toys. But there's, wow. there's pictures of his mom like, damn. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, going to town. Slobbing out. Yep. Wow, dude. Going to town. Oh, he didn't live it down. How, how old was he when he seen these pictures? Oh, jeez. I was probably 15 or 16. That's so traumatizing, oh, dude. Yeah. That's traumatizing. When you turn like 21 or something like that, and your girls get ready to go down on you, you remember your mom getting one. And it's like, no, no, it, it's horrible, dude. That's horrible. Can you picture mother having sex doggy style? No. Your dad right behind her no. spanking her ass. No, dude. Donkey punching her. Fuck, yeah, man. Why Why would you even Why would you even say that in the first place? Because it's your mom. I ain't talking about my mom. No, no I ain't talking about my mother either. That's why I said, you ever seen your... No, I never, never. said, have I ever seen my mother? I already told you, I've never seen my mama naked. And as far as I know, she hasn't dated anybody since 1986. Okay, well, that, not still that alive. you know of, though. Not that you know Oh, of. I know better. My nephew... <sighs> Tried to hook her up many times. Yeah, she had guys come to the house, or he had guys come. He had guys come to her, our house. Okay, but you weren't there dates. when this stuff was going on. Yeah, I was. No, you weren't. There's guys come to the door, and she's like, "Who the fuck are you?" She goes, "I came here to take you out." And the guys all, he goes, "Yeah, I'm responding to your ad." You know, my, my nephew was out there trying to cook his grandma up. No, oh, really? Yeah. Where did he no, really put her at? On like Cleveland back page? It was right. hookers and everything. I don't, I, don't magazine. What, I don't remember what pages. It was E I, Harmony. I think, I think he was he was um, posting in back at Scene magazine. Really? And shit like that. All the Craigslist ads back there. Your mom probably wow. got a bunch when of wackos. Craigslist was um, here. first started getting popular when it was all sex in there. That's when he did it. Also, he tried to get my mother to be on Jerry Springer. Did I ever tell you that story? No. So. Wait, hold we, on. So, we can call him up. You want? We, no. <laughs> so it, it actually, it sort of. I don't know, man. It, that's weird. So it sort of sounded like this. <laughs> hold on. We gonna... ride together. We die together. Bad boys for life. This is what happens when we get old, Mike. 
They came to the door. I was coming to take my baby out on the first date. Who the fuck are you? I'm Mr. Burnett. I'm Reggie. What you doing here? I came to take out Megan. What? I came to take out Megan. How old are you? I'm 15, Mr. Burnett. Motherfucker, you look 30. Show me some ID. I don't have none on me. You don't have no idea. Get your ass up against that wall. What the fuck is your problem? You think you know it all? You little young thundercats. You got joints on you? No. You smoke that shit? No, sir. You trying to get my daughter high? You smoke Mark. that shit? Nigga, who that is, the dog? Reggie! Who the fuck is Reggie? Came to take Megan out. What you want, nigga? I'm um, here to take his, his daughter out. What's your name? Reggie. Well, no, y'all heard the motherfucker say your name, Reggie. You want you taking Megan out? Yes, sir. How old is you? 15. Shit, nigga, you at least 30. This is my. Did you fight? That's Will Smith. Talking. You can fight. Mm -hmm. Oh, you move, motherfucker. You can't fight. Look at Mike, you. Look. Mike, no, I want to know if the nigga. I want to know if somebody gonna take my niece out. I want to know if the nigga can fight. fight. Somebody okay. might come say something. Hey. The nigga can't fight. She can't go. This make his godfather, okay? He just got out the joint. Why are you okay? putting all my they business in the street? Why are you they putting all him? I just got out of jail and I ain't going back. I ain't point. going back. You got What's wrong with you? No, no. Acting all scared, nigga. You ain't never seen a gun before. Like, stop pointing the gun at the boy, man. Nigga, look. Don't you. Disrespect me right. in front of company. All right, let the gun go off. You don't Nigga, have no, you no, a no, big old tall no. ludicrous looking motherfucker, ain't you? You rap? No. Move, no. nigga. Hey, get out hey. the way. Hey. If I see okay. you on the highway, hey. get hey. the fuck out hey. of my hey. way. Hey, Mike. Now listen, have my daughter home at 10.01. Is that what you were telling the guy when he came to your mom's door? No, I didn't. Ha had my mom back at 10.01? No, no. And that, then, was, that was Paula Dean's house last Thanksgiving. Right. You know the and, and and this is what this is what happens next. If she ain't home at ten oh one. I'm in the car, okay? Lock loaded and hunting your motherfucking ass down. Do you hear me? And I'm Speak gonna the fuck with up, Reggie. And if I'm there, you know what it's gonna be? Chitty chitty bang bang, nigga. That's what it's gonna be. Marcus! Oh, Reggie, baby, I am so sorry. Please forgive Megan's dad and his silly friend. You a virgin? Yes. Did you ask this to the guy? Is he a virgin? Yeah, I did. Okay, I hear you. Keep it that way. There ain't gonna be no fucking that night. Baby, the red shirt's nice. I like that. You guys have a good time. You ever made love to a man? No. You want to? No, yeah. Hey, have a good time, baby. Go. All right, good. All right. You need to go. <laughs> that's how, but that's how you should do it, though. Yeah, I, I, that's probably what's going to be me when my you know, first time my daughter gets a knock at the door from one of her little boyfriends or something like that. That's going to be me at the door, opening it up and saying, "Who the fuck are you?" <laughs> you know. I did try to hook my mother up with this guy who only had one arm. Really? Yeah, but he was a professor at Case Western. Did you call him Lefty? No, uh, he was he, the guy who was he was really respected in in politics. Hmm. So I was trying to hook her up, but he died. How come? You, how come your mother hasn't been on a date? She just doesn't want to have anything to do with anybody. She just that's just she's she okay. So your your father passed away. Yeah. Then after your father passed away, she never dated after that. Mm, she had one guy who looked like Homer Simpson. That was during the that was during the mid eighties. Okay. What that's happened to that guy? Is he, he under the porch or something no, now? He, they they separated. Okay. They, they had a fallout or whatever happened. Okay. Because they actually he moved into my house. This is when I was in the Navy. Okay. I was in the Navy, and I came home, and he was there. And she, Did you open the door? What the fuck are you? See a Homer Simpson, Simpson guy laying on my, my couch. <laughs> so, I mean, your mom has... How old is your mom now? 69. She has not seen a date since 1980. That's right. Wow. 86. Don't you find that kind of strange, though? Well, I keep asking you know, you know, she tried to get hooked up. And she just keep turning it down. It's like flowers in the attic with your with your mom. Or do you have her like chained up in your in, no, in, in, no. in, in the She's, attic or something? Maybe no. you've turned her off the men down. Right, exactly. I, maybe I did. I don't know, man. That's kind of weird. It, maybe she just needs like mandingo to fucking move her organs around inside of her. Huh? <laughs> no, I didn't she want to go fucking there. Movement. I'm just thinking maybe like an older. Call my mother up. Ask her. She, when was the last time she had some dick? <laughs> <laughs> some dick. <laughs> She'll disown you if I called her. See, I didn't want to say cock because that doesn't sound good when you talk about your own mom. No, it's <laughs> filthy when you're talking about your mom. Yeah. <laughs> So, I mean, you, I, I just don't get the whole thing, though. Your mom hasn't dated since 1980, well, yeah. though. Well, my mother's, never, my mother's never packed enough sweater meat to draw that much attention to her. Oh, God. And Dom's needy, too. <laughs> Do you, are you afraid of, you know, you, she's going to get married again and you have to call someone I, else no, I daddy? Wish, I wish yeah. she would. Because then I can call up and say, step daddy, what's up? <laughs> you banging my mama right now? Give me $50. That's right. right. You just want someone else to go to Kept for money, keys. right? Yeah, I need I need another outlet. Need another outlet. So check this out. So my my nephew, you know, when he was probably 14, 15 or something like that, 
he called Jerry Springer up. Yeah. And he was going to have Jerry Springer wanted my mother on the show. As Why? Well. She doesn't That's date. Why no, would no, she no, want to go listen, on there? Listen to this. Right. So the whole premise was my nephew's having sex with his grandmother. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> so he told Jerry Springer this, that this this was going on. So they were arranging flights and travel arrangements for my my nephew and my mother to go on Jerry Springer. Does your mother, did your mother know at the time that no, she No, she didn't know what was going on. So she thought she was going to get a free you flight to like L.A. or something no, or New York. Oh, no, she had a, t- she eventually she talked and then she goes, I ain't fucking him or whatever it was she said. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Any, did she say any more? Right. Yeah, we stopped. <laughs> we <Yeah>. stopped. <laughs> was that good? We ended that relationship a long time ago. You know what my nephew did? Come to think about it. One of the funniest memories I have of him, I think it was. Is he like, still alive? Yeah, yeah. Okay, he's, why are you saying memories? Because it's when I think of when he was a All kid. Right, go ahead. Because I, I was part of raising him. It's kind of weird, but go ahead. He was probably four or something like that. I just yeah. got out of the Navy, and um, he was in the bathroom and he started screaming. So we ran Making in. Making hand babies? No, not that okay. young. Okay. So we walked in there. He had a Kotex on him. No. He had a tape to, tape to his ball. No. We had to pull it off. I don't believe him. that. I thought I oh, no call, call him up no let me call him up no well yeah I like to call him up to find out if that's true but uh, no. you like call him up asking about the Jerry Springer shit too I can just ask him it's about the Tampax thing. thing yeah you tell him it's like a band aid I'm just Get going his, quick it, getting it over yeah, oh, I was trying one two three but it's on his nuts is Think he home right it. now oh you had to grab the yeah, Freaking gooch and ev- oh, the bad. call him during the break and then we'll uh, we'll uh, get him get his permission to come on the air okay. first all right and okay. then we'll bring him on because I want to hear about that Tampax thing. The Kotex. The Kotex thing. That's why you're the taint smasher. Ooh. Gee, no, that's sick. There's a story behind every nickname, and that's why you're the taint smasher. Right. Yeah. That kind of. Some things I, I can't say on the air. Yeah. <laughs> some things don't need to be said. <laughs> right. All the shit I've been putting Just out there. Just watch the fucking show, and you know what's this, going on with this Tom. Is, this is like fucking therapy for me right now. <laughs> exactly. Maybe we should just make this whole show a therapy session you want with Tom. To? We could. I can get like a like a like a table or something you can lay on. Yeah, we got to get you an all white dom. Right. It's a song about me. It's a song about me. It's a song about me. me, 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 me. I know we're gonna go to break. Listen on Sensor Net Noise on MorningShowCentral.com. You're listening. You're listening to Morning Show Central Radio Network. Don't touch that mouse, or we'll come to your home and pistol whip you. Ah! You're listening to Morning Show Central Radio Network. Right here on MorningShowCentral.com. Hey, this is Pete Snyder from Twisted Sister, and you're listening to Uncensored Net Noise. If you're looking for the best in musical equipment, recording gear, sound reinforcement, and more, Guitar Center has you covered. Guitar Center, located at 26635 Brook Park Road in North Olmsted, has the tools of your trade. With the largest selection of music and sound gear in the area, they cater to your musical needs and have the knowledge to help you out. Guitar Center in North Olmsted. MorningShowCentral.com uses them. You should, too. Need to know more? Go to GuitarCenter.com. You want a date? I'm going to puke on you. Gee, I don't think I have a price for that. You're listening to Morning Show Central Radio Network. Right here on MorningShowCentral.com. If you have a product or service, let people know know about it. Get your message out there and advertise on MSC Radio Network. It's easier than you think. And the whole planet is listening. (laughs) Find out how you can advertise. Email Chris at MorningShowCentral.com. Looking for reliable and affordable Shoutcast audio or video hosting? JWN Media offers complete Shoutcast hosting solutions for business or personal use. All plans come with full listener stats, custom web scripts for implementing your service into your existing website, full server control, super fast network, and huge bandwidth limits. A 99 99- percent uptime guarantee and friendly knowledgeable support personnel dedicated to making your hosting experience fun and easy with plans starting at only three dollars a month you have no excuse not to get a server of your own plus with the option to add auto dj and on-demand services you can be confident your station will be all it can be custom plans are also available at their website simply visit jwnmedia.com and click the shoutcast hosting link to get started right now 
Hey, local bands and unsigned artists. What if I told you there was a place in Cleveland where you can get your merch made and have it sold in one location? What if I said you could bring your CDs and tickets to upcoming shows to this location? And what if I said you could do live acoustic sets at this location? I bet you're thinking there's no such place in Cleveland. Guess what? You'd be wrong. Contact Rick Navario at Rock City Cleveland and tell him you need merch made and you want to sell it in his store. Now, how cool is that? You can tell your fans to come down and get your stuff. And I think he'd ship your products to your fans. And he's local. Contact Rick Navario at Rock City Cleveland today. 216-622-0377. That's 216-622-0377. Call the show toll free. 1 888 668 0742. You're listening to Morning Show Central Radio Network on morningshowcentral.com. Oh, wow. Language. Okay, he was PMSing. You're listening to Morning Show Central Radio Network. Check out Uncensored Net Noise every Friday night, 9 p.m. Eastern, right here. Uncensored Net Noise on MorningShowCentral.com. Oh, great. Not another Farm Bill request. Check us out on Facebook at Facebook.com slash MorningShowCentral. Denying one Farm Bill request at a time. <coughs> Prepare to get your cock, cock rocked rock. to Kingdom Come. Welcome back to the show that doesn't discriminate. We'll bang everyone equally. You can handle that? You've got a job. It's Uncensored Net Noise. It's Uncensored Net Noise. Welcome back to Uncensored Net Noise. Live on MorningShowCentral.com. If you'd like to call the show, 1-888-668-0742. Having problems with your home computer or business PC? Looking to have some upgrade work completed on your computer? Have a special project in mind that may be too much for you to undertake alone? Time to call Joe the Printer Guy! Joe the Printer Guy offers a full-service hardware and software repair center at his facility to handle your PC, server, and networking needs. Let their professional service staff handle your computer needs. They offer expert service at an affordable price. Visit Joe the Printer Guy at 14035 Madison Avenue, Lakewood, Ohio. Online, JoeThePrinterGuy.com. Or give him a call at 216-651-3880. Joe the Printer Guy. I know, I know, oh my god, I know what we're gonna do. Oh, it's so delicious, I can almost taste it. If you're looking for the best sub shop in town, look no further. Hanini Subs, located at 7310 Lorraine Avenue, is the place for you. Stop in for a cold cut sub, cheeseburger and fries, wingdings and fries, and so much more. And almost taste it. Hanini Subs at 7310 Lorraine Avenue is open 24 hours a day. Check them out on Facebook, facebook.com slash burrito crazy. And if you mention MSC Radio Network, you'll get a dollar off your meal. It's all good at Hanini Subs. So damn good. The following message is for those with a credit score of 800 and below. Who wouldn't want better credit? Did you ever wonder how different life would be from just having a higher credit score? Are you tired of being turned down for any kind of loan or only offered high interest rates because your credit score is holding you prisoner? Life doesn't have to be that way anymore with access to Turn Score. By increasing your credit score only 50 to 100 points, it can potentially save you tens of thousands of dollars in interest over just a 5 to 10 year period. It can be the difference in getting approved for a personal loan, business loan, high limits on credit cards, a brand new car lease, or even a home mortgage. We see so many ads from companies that give us our credit score, but once we get our credit score, what are they going to do to actually repair your credit? Unfortunately, nothing. Until now, TurnScore is the first automated credit repair platform that is simple, safe, and secure. You'll be empowered right from the comfort of your own computer, so you can challenge and repair your credit report to ensure it's fair and accurate. Turn score is specifically developed with you in mind. There's no more need for an attorney, credit repair companies, or credit counseling. More importantly, no more need for paying higher fees. Turn score will help you get back on track and get the buying power you need. So whether you have bad credit, average credit, or even good credit, Turn score is helping turn lives around one credit score at a time. Go to turnscore.com and enter the promo code MSC20 and get 20 bucks off your purchase. That's T U R N S C O com T-U-R-N-S-C-O-R.com. Turnscore.com.
Previously, Previously on Uncensored Net Noise. Um, there was something else that happened. What was one of the craziest things that ever happened to you? All right, I want to hear this one. Yeah. No, you know, for the sake of uh, not taking a guitar to my face. Really? <laughs> uh, it, it just. Uh, what was this all about? How did this happen? A bad bukkake. That's something. Oh, practically, you know, might as well have been. <laughs> when bukkake goes bad. Something, man. So, uh, how did this happen, and where was it at? Uh, you know. <laughs> oh, you know. It was here. Yeah. I got nailed in the face. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. no, I, let's just say I've been vomited on once or twice. Really? Yeah, you know. Did you pay for that? Yeah, really. I will happily say, hey, yeah, I'll drive you guys out there. Yeah. Well, you know. Yeah. I've. I've uh, you know, been carrying someone out, and I just I get thrown up on it. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ, dude. That's insane. <laughs> it's uncensored net noise. We'd like to take this opportunity to thank the fine people at the FCC for being such f***ing <laughs> mother... <laughs> Welcome, back. Welcome back to Uncensored Net Noise. All right, guys, we're back. If you want to call the show, the number is 888-668-0742. Again, that number is 888-668-0742. Or get to the website, morningshowcentral.com. Jump in the chat. Dom's in there right now. Yes, I am. What we got in there? Beavis, Dom friggin' Fabio, the evil bastard bunny, Shannon, and Tony 611216. That's the one I want to talk to right there. Yeah. That's the one I want to talk to you right there. So should we get Tony on the phone? Yeah, give, give him a call. Give a and Bastard Bunny, where in the hell you been? I haven't seen you in a while. so Probably caught a life for a bit. Probably did. He's Beavis, like, wrong night. Yeah, right. All right, so we're going to call Tony, correct? Yeah. All right, let's see. Get this thing going here. Mm-hmm. Okay. They, it's cool. They got the delay. They don't know that he's being called yet. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see if we can get him on. Surprise. Right. In order to complete this call, right. you must dial the area code and the call. I did dial the area code. Let's see. Let's do this again. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's try it now. Hopefully we got it. There we go. It's like a live interview. Mm-hmm. I didn't mention. Hello. All right, Tony, you're live on the air. What's going on? All right, so I need to know, I need a verification about this. Uh, <laughs> something about a tampon or something or a Kotex and fill me in on all the details about this, this story Dom's trying to tell me. What is he trying to tell you? Well, go ahead and re- rehash Tony's memory here. About the Kotex getting stuck to you and we had to take it off? I beg, I, I, I don't recall that part. <laughs> well, you were, come on. You, you, that's something you can't traumatize, Don. Long, long story short, I, uh, I was about seven, and uh, my mother had a, a box of pads in the bathroom, and I decided to uh, experiment with them, and you know, I thought they were toys and whatnot. And <laughs> what, what kind of experiment were you going to do? I hate to interrupt you, Tony. Never one time have I seen a freaking tampon and go. Yeah, I was just I was I'm, I'm kind of bored. No, it's a Kotex. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I'm kind of curious though. What kind of experiment were you trying to do with a Kotex, dude? Uh, I don't know. I was seven. Um, no, it's. Uh... <laughs> was it a submarine? You thought it was like a little ship that you could play in the bathtub or something? I don't know. Well, I mean, you know, if you get it, if you get it wet, it expands. So I, I thought it was pretty <laughs> cool. <laughs> That's funny. So you were seven years old. You had a Kotex stuck to you, and you walked out of the bathroom when it stuck to you. And then what did everybody say? Yeah, yeah, I, <laughs> yeah. Well, like I said, long story short, I, uh, I stuck it to me, and uh, they had to rip it off. And you know, was Dom uh, gentle? Was Uncle Dom not gentle? I care to relive. Yeah. <laughs> was Uncle Dom gentle when he ripped off the Kotex? No, no, he did it very nicely. Okay, thank All you. Right. All right. Oh my God! I think I kissed his forehead too right before it. All right. So what about this Jerry Spring? What about this Jerry Springer thing or whatever the case may be? You're going to try to hook your your granny up with uh, Jerry Springer and get her on the show to say that she had sex with you or something? No, 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 no. Um, the the story with my grandmother, 
I was probably 13, and I was playing around on chat lines, and uh, I got this guy. I was talking to this guy from my grandmother, and uh, she, this guy was really interested, and, uh, uh, you know, so we talked for probably about 45 minutes, and uh, it was just her and I at home, and I was in my room, and so I set up this blind date, and this guy came over, and he knocked on the door, and my grandmother answered the door, and, uh, you know, like I said, uh, once again, another long story short, uh, he was uh, re really ready to go to town. He had a, a couple pairs of panties and a, a dildo. <laughs> <laughs> Granny was going to yeah. get some that night. She wasn't too happy with me. We'll put it that way. <laughs> wow. What did your grandmother say to you after you after you uh, had this guy come to the house? Did she find ever find out it was you that hooked her up? Yeah, because I was in the back laugh, and she uh, pretty much told me don't ever do this again. That's it? it That's yeah, it? Yeah, so. Wow. <laughs> Damn, I wish I had a grandmother like that, man. Just don't ever do that again. I'll, you know, beat you with this belt. No, dude. If I did that, man, my grandmother would probably be like, I'd be six feet under right now. Either that or she'd take them dildos. I know it's been a little while, and, you know, I, I would definitely try to hook her up again. So Wow. So so is Dom correct about your, your grandmother not seeing anybody since the 1980s? I would venture to say the 70s. Wow, dude. Dom, you're off. Dude. Well, Homer guy, what was his name, Jim? Jim Jimbo. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> there was. So, yeah, that was an eight. That's when I was in the Navy. So it was like it was like right before I got out. So I had to be like eighty nine. Wow! I tried to hook her up with that. Remember that one guy who had one arm? I tried to hook her up with him. Wow! Lefty, <laughs> yeah, lefty, yeah. <laughs> that dude, oh, dude, that's something else, dude. I can't believe that you tried to hook you take your grandmother on Jerry Springer. That's, that's you know crazy. what we need to talk to him about. Hey, tell 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 these tell the listeners out here um, how you can make money online. As far, as far as what? Like asking people for money. Some, some oh, of I have no, I, I have no idea what you're speaking of. <laughs> wow. I, I, I'm, I'm a businessman myself. I, I run legitimate businesses here in Northeast Ohio, and you know that's 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 as much as I can say about that. Well, good. You need to come to MSC Studios and we'll, and maybe sponsor the the station here. Oh, absolutely. We'd love to. All right, cool. All right, all right, Tony. I do appreciate you calling it. Well, us calling you. So thanks for the the amazing story of. The, the Tampax sticking to you and Uncle Dom ripping it off nicely. and Did you start calling him Taint Smasher then? Yeah. Is that where he got that name from? Right, exactly. <laughs> uh, well, actually, I mean, that, you know, that, that's something we actually do on a frequent basis now, you know. Um, whoa, whoa, wait. The Gooch Punch? You guys... Wow! That's hey. that's oh, re yeah. that's that's a revelation right there. So you actually still stick the tampons to you and Uncle Dom rips them off? Yeah, you know that saying, if you can't keep it in your pants, keep it in the family. So Damn! We, uh, we, we take that to a whole new level. Oh. Jesus Christ, See? Dom. Told you. Wow. You got some strange family members, man. Oh, you gotcha. have no idea. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Christ. All right, Tony. I appreciate you. I appreciate you calling, dude. Not a problem, man. Have a good night, guys. All right, thank you. Easy, All right, bye bye. Bye bye. All right, here's Tony. Um, Dom's uh one of Dom's relatives, his nephew. That's right. Wow, dude. You're right. I was yep. wrong. I'm sorry. I take that back about your grandmother. My story was yeah. a little off because that's just what I was under the impression. Wow. You know, about him getting it out. I can't believe the dude came to the door with a fucking bunch of dildos and pantyhose and wanted to go rail your grandmother. That's crazy. That's insane. Hey, shit happens, man. Wow. Wow. All right, what do you got? What do you got? We got a guy over about testicles or something? What do you got? A Colombian poet yeah. wants to sell his testicles so he can fund a European tour. What kind of shit's that? A crazy shit. Wow. I'd, I'd put in there. How much do you need? He wants 20 grand for both of them. Twenty thousand dollars to cut off your nuts. So it's ten. So ten, ten thousand dollars a piece. He's only selling a pair. Oh, they're oh, okay. Oh, okay. He's so not, you can't get one. At but the, here's my thing, though. How how do how do people know that he actually cut off his nuts? That's the thing, though. Do they need ver a picture verification of it? I would ask for some sort of certificate yeah. of authenticity or something. Well, yeah, well, how would you get that? I mean, they would have to like take a picture of his undercarriage to say, "Well, look, no more nuts, man." And here's the box with the men. Either that or a picture of his tidy whiteies something leaking. Yeah. Right. Wow. Blood stain. Wow, that's it's insane, like the though. Picasso of Peckers. Damn. What okay, how much would you Or the uh, Van Gogh of Peckers? Well, is there a reason why he wants to get rid of the, the, the nuts? He ran out of money. They said he was in South America and he ran out of money and he had to uh break the law uh just to get back home. 
Okay. So he didn't want to run out of money on the European tour, so he wanted to make sure. And apparently, twenty grand's enough to, to run around like a king in Europe. I guess, man, twenty thousand dollars. Well, you figure twenty thousand dollars American money, and then you go over there and you convert it over to what euros or whatever it yeah. is. It's a little bit more money, I think. You know, he might be able to buy new balls over there. He might be. Yeah. yeah. Still has some pocket change. Some brass ones, but. Uh, how much would okay? If someone came to you and said, "I'll give you twenty thousand dollars to chop your nuts off," no way. We're not even. We're not even in the ballpark. Not even close. All right. How about you, Dom? Twenty thousand. Twenty thousand to chop your nuts off. Can I? Can I get like marbles put in there? N- no. Can it, I get like replaced with things. Like I the prosthetic need, I nuts. I don't need my nuts. You could get like bouncy balls and they have like the tie dye oh, pattern. Oh damn! And everything. That's badass. Remember, did you watch that episode of Simpsons when they were all getting? No, that's South. That's South Park. What? Are you, oh, Sim- what the fuck? I got Simpsons in my head. Yeah, South Park. Where they're they're bouncing on their balls? Yeah. 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 Now, there you go. Now, I'm not saying to get big-ass, gigantic balls, but I'm saying if I can get, like, bouncy balls in there, that'd be funny. Mm. I could be saying, look at these tricks I could do. Or you could be like the, uh, did you guys ever see that dude that goes, uh, Stern hit him on. He had, like, uh, they weighed his balls. Oh, yeah. He had something wrong. He he had, like, a tumor. Yeah, a tumor, but now he's got to have, like, one of those little scooters that you would, like, uh, See like an old man in a store stocking shells with, yeah. right? And he sets his nuts on in the, the scooter in, yeah, on the sh- shelf so he can like push them around. And he's, no. he's got like some electric scooter get up thing. So he's got a rascal going around the his rascal, yeah, right? A rascal, right? right. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, wow. you know, definitely isn't rascal flats. Wow, that's that was, but well, that joke was lame. But that's awful though. That's awful. I think I was going for perfection on that one. I don't one. know. That. I was just working with the material. I, I had don't know things. what you were going for, but that was crazy, though. So $20,000, would you go for yeah. that? Like I said, if I can get replacement um, testicles, if I can get like a little rubber balls in there or something like that, or fucking rubber band balls or something, just in there, make me feel like when I grab them, all right, I just don't feel right, like just, a fucking say, bag let, of air. Let's say prosthetic balls. Let's, I'm down with it. You're no, but there's a, ti- there's a time limit. You have to go ballless for... A uh, year. Yeah. Okay, I'm down with that. For 20 grand? Yeah. You're crazy. I even take a 20 grand food stamps. <laughs> Fuck Tw- yeah, I'm down with that. $20,000. I don't think I would ever... No. I don't need my nuts. No, dude. No, because... What do you need your nuts for? Because you're... Dude, that's your manhood. It's like it's like oh, kicking... Oh, no, no. Your manhood's in your wallet. <laughs> what, the credit card? Your condom. Yeah. <laughs> but no, you think about it, though. You take your dog to go get, you know... Fucking his nuts ripped off, yep. you know. If it's good enough for him, it's good enough for me. No, I don't think it's good for a human, though. Yeah, but people aren't eating you at a Korean restaurant either. Exactly. Well, I'll tell you, down in um, fucking in Africa, they are. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, I mean, that's Africa, but we're talking about here in the, in the States, though. You gotta, I, I actually got a song about um, selling your testicles. Selling your nuts? Oh, God, I got to hear this. What do you got? Sell your testicles to the barber. Sell your testicles to the butcher. Sell your testicles for twenty thousand and it'll make you feel good. I got nothing. So twenty thousand dollars, you wouldn't mind getting prosthetic nuts and then and then uh, going about your life, right? Twenty thousand dollars. Yeah. And you said no, right? There's no way there. That discussion starts at six figures. Right. It's, it's got to be Why? at least. Why? It's got to be. be. It's, it's got to be, yeah. Because $20,000 is... Are you planning to have any more kids? No, I'm not. There you go. Now you can might as well cash in on them now. They're already been cashed out. <laughs> right. I, re- I went... After the third, I went in and had the procedure done. Well, now you can get your nuts taken out, and you ain't got to worry about none of that stuff. You ain't got to worry about testicular cancer. But I don't want to walk around no. with my fucking nuts clanking together. You know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, I want Ben Wall balls. Yeah. Just one's off balls. just a little bit. Because you know what? I want to go when I go to the like airport. A toy. If I want to go to the airport and shit, like the kinetic balls, they like bounce back and forth. Ding, ding, ding. That's what Kelly would yeah. do to you. Pull them back and see if they Because I would like to be at the airport and then going through the scanner thing. And they, they get a close. What the fuck is that? And they grab your crotch. Yeah. And they're like going like they have, you know, like fucking Ben Wall balls moving around your hand. <laughs> That's right. That's what they're doing. A man of steel. They're doing their job. <laughs> wow. Be the next Superman. There's no way. Have some pride. Value your junk a little exactly. bit more. Fuck, I don't need them. So, I mean, when you think about it in a big picture, twenty grand for it's your not a lot nuts of money. is not a lot of money. You, I know it's not a lot of you money. You could go through that like that, dude. Oh, I know I can. Plus, you could work at McDonald's and make twenty grand a right, year. Right, exactly. I mean, mm. Would you give your nut? I, this mm. is probably a stupid question. Yeah, would, would you, you give cut your, your balls off for a Big Mac? Right, exactly. For mm. a cheeseburger? That, that's what depends I said. On, it was stupid. Depends on how fucking hungry I was. <laughs> 
Figures Don would do something like, hey, uh, J- uh, Jay, come here a minute. Come here, Jason. I got to ask you. Ask about his nuts? Yeah. Well, you know, they say about black men. He's though. got black balls. He can right. get more by the pound. <laughs> right. Get more by the pound. So if someone gave you $20,000, would you chop off your manhood? Never. Okay, that's what I thought, man. Why would you even go there with it? Okay, so say you owe back child support, okay? <laughs> now, now, if they offered you the option to lose a, a testicle to get caught up on your child support right. and go to jail, what would you take? <laughs> you going, you going to jail for that? Yeah. You're going to jail now! <laughs> wow, I'm not chopping off my testicles. There's no way. Why? Be, to be, in, like I said, in a big picture, twenty grand is not a lot of money to just go lopping off your junk. Right. You can. I mean, that's the thing, though, man. You, you, you go through that twenty thousand dollars in probably a, a week. Yeah. How much? Okay, let me ask you this. I'm not trying to get nosy or nothing. Yeah. But you probably got like twenty thousand dollars in bills, right? Oh yeah. Okay, so you would pay off all your bills and then what? You're, you're nutless now. You have no nuts and you got to go back to work, right? Back to the grind, right? Then I'd be trying to find work and sell my kidney at. No, oh, Jesus Christ! Fuck, they're doing. Would you sell any body part if you, if you had to? No, not while. Plasma's the way to go. They pay good for that. I guess. Yeah, semen. But, yeah, that too. Hand babies. Yeah. Hand babies. Yeah. 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 Wow. But they only take certain. Sperm too. Have you ever gone yeah. to a sperm bank? Oh, you go there for for withdrawals. My my, my mom worked at the sperm bank. <laughs> she got fired for drinking on a job. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I told him he was getting. He went to the yeah. bank and was getting wow. withdrawals. Wow. So no no twenty thousand dollars for you. 20, 000, All right. 20, Thank you, Jason. Would you drink another man's sperm for twenty dollars? No way. No. Jay, There's not enough money in the world. Jay's like, fuck that. How about a bukkake that. session? <laughs> right. Jay's like, hell no. With dude. one chick watching you, it's but like, the rest of the dudes. Like hell no. Dude. I'm just asking. Twenty thousand dollars, dude. It, it, like he said, it's got to be six figures. To it's even th- that's where it even starts. think about it. That's, that's where it starts. Right. Just to think about well, it. Well, Chris, you don't use them anyways. Your wife already took them from you already. It does, it's a principality. No, she didn't. No, she didn't. I can go anywhere I want to. Whatever. I can't. I don't need to explain. No. I, I say, all right, look, honey, I'm going. I'm going out right now. Shannon, call in. Be, I, come on. I don't even. Ha- you don't even have to have her call in. Call here. in. I, I, you don't even have better. to have her call in. Watch. Go on. You're gonna threaten her ass. You're gonna lock her nope. up in your basement and shit. <laughs> like Amanda Berry. Yeah. Too soon. Mm. You're gonna go Shannon Berry on her. All right, hold on. All right, hold on. I'm calling her now. Hopefully she'll answer. Wait, she doesn't know we're talking about her yet. She got another another 30 seconds. Well, she knows now. That phone's ringing. Hello? Hey, I got a question for you. Uh-huh. All right, I'm going to ask you just like it is, all right? And I'm not going <laughs> to sugarcoat it or nothing. If I wanted to go somewhere, like let's say I wanted to go to a, like a club or if I wanted to go to Dom's house and just hang out for a few hours... Do I have to explain to myself where I'm, what I'm doing, and where I'm going? Where you're going? I mean, you don't you don't go anywhere without telling me where you're going, though. See, she got you in check. No, she doesn't. I mean, but it, that's, that's just a common how courtesy. We both are. That's just common it's got courtesy. Nothing to do with having anyone in check. It's called respect. Right. It's respecting the one you're with. I mean, he doesn't go anywhere, and if I go anywhere, he knows where I'm going. Right. Exactly. It's just common courtesy. That's all it is. It's got nothing to do with being whipped. Shannon, are you part Amish? <laughs> no, I'm no, I'm not part Amish. Okay. All right. all right. That's all I wanted to know, real quick. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, all right. Bye. Later. She was lying. She was I could tell. Too. She excited was... too. She's listening to the show. Right She's now, lying. Too. We know it. Right. Shannon, come clean. Come on. No, I, we know the real you. I can go anywhere I want to. I'll just, just, hey, look, I'm going to Peabody's. Okay. See you later. That's because she don't like you. <laughs> okay, she didn't like me. She, had, I think there would be a divorce in, in, in the no, process. No, right? no, 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 right. no. And even in in that, even if he was whipped or yeah. whatever, why would he cut his balls off? Right, exactly. Even if he was, it's a that's just asinine. And for you to sell it for twenty thousand dollars, fuck, I'll take ten G's. I don't give a fuck. I, see, and I just, don't give a fuck. You just keep going down and down and down. Have some self worth, man. I, I have self worth. No, no, you don't, man. All shut men, up, shut up. All men around the uh, that are listening right now are probably like holding their nuts right now thinking, you know, Dom's a pussy. That's all right. You guys holding your nuts thinking about me. No, you're no, they're not. No, <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> you just said it. No, we're not. You sell yourself short, man. $20,000. Walk, 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 walk. That's right. <laughs> short. Yeah. All right. What do you got over there? Anything I good? got nothing. I got an empty can of pop. No, oh, do you? See, he needs twenty thousand dollars. Right, right, exactly. Geez. Give me your balls. I'll give you another okay. can of pop. There you right, go. Exactly. If I if I give you a can of pop out of the fridge right now, will you give me your nuts? Uh, no, that's not enough for it. 
Okay. What about the whole 12 pack? 12 yeah. pack. We, we'll, we'll talk. I got we'll a 12 talk. in there. We'll talk. All right. We'll talk. We'll talk. For discussion. It's open for that. What am I going to do with them? I don't know. I'll sell them on eBay. Yeah. That's the thing. Like the guy said, he'll give his balls to the first person that, like sitting around going, dude, we can I got get 20. Colombian balls. We got 20 extra thousand dollars laying around. Right. Yep. Let's buy his junk. He'll cut his shit off. Betsy, yeah. look. They're there's there's out. nuts on eBay right now. Well, let's buy them. I mean, who's going to buy them? Uh, not me. And if you're paying that kind of money, do you get to see the actual removal? I'd like if you're right. paying twenty thousand dollars for a pair of nuts. Yeah, I want to see them from removed. Cadaver. Yeah, that's what I'm saying too. No, I want a pair of lawn garden shears. Right, him bent over. Back. Yeah, Chris, why does this microphone microphone smell like pudusi? I don't know. Did you have it up your ass? No, I mean, just ooh, it stinks. It doesn't stink. It smell, yeah, it smells like ATM. Probably your ass, dude. Did you it's, sit on it before the show? I didn't sit on this. I don't know. That's a brand new mic screen. We just got it. It smells like Pudusi. Just bought it from Guitar Center. Yeah, like I said, it smells like Pudusi. All right, well, okay, whatever. But, um, yeah, $20,000 for you getting your nuts off. And like I said, I don't I don't know, dude. It's just, To me, it's not worth... I don't think I would... I would I would choose another body part beside my nuts. I would what probably a, be okay with a thumb or a finger. Or right, something I'll give like you that. my oh, thumb for twenty just, grand or something. You need your what are you thumbs, gonna do with man. the fuck you can do with your thumb? Fucking zip shit up with it. I can use two fingers to zip things up. No, you can't. Yes, you can. Two fingers. I keep. You can do it two fingers. I'm yeah, doing it right now. Right there, two fingers. You don't need a thumb. You don't need a thumb. What the hell you need that for? Yeah, how come dogs have such a hard life? They don't mess your kung fu grip up. Yeah, right. that's fucked up. I, I, you can hold a can. Look, here's the can. You don't need a thumb. Thumb's gone. I'm not holding it with a thumb. How the fuck are you hitchhike? I don't know what's your. I don't know what's your your you foot. You, you got to know. Th- you got to know the rules of the road, man. Right, exactly. <laughs> Show some leg or something. I don't know. You know, if you get pulled over in Menor for hitchhiking, Menor, Ohio, it's a hundred forty nine dollar fine. Why is it hundred? Uh, why is it only a hundred and forty nine dollars? So it's ten t- ten dollars up for a second offense. Wow. I don't know. I just some random news for you. One hundred and forty nine dollars. Why couldn't it just be like a rounded off number, like one hundred and fifty? No, because then if then I don't. I don't know. It's cheaper than getting a speeding ticket, right? Well, no. It's, I'm sorry. It's one hundred twenty nine. One hundred forty nine is going through red light. Wow. It's twenty more dollars if you were driving and went through red light. That's stupid. Because I got to pay that by next week. Do you really? Why'd you get yeah. a red light or were you yeah, hitchhiking? Red light. I wish I was hitchhiking. <laughs> with, the, me, with the kids. Tom, Dom's going to be hitchhiking very soon if he doesn't pay that ticket. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll There's going to be a warrant out for his arrest, and his I'm car is going to be repoed. Shit. I'm paying that shit. All right. Is it going to be safe to do the show tomorrow? Are they going to yeah, be yeah, no Are we going to be on cops tomorrow night? Right, exactly. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny? That would be odd. It would be like Beavis and Butthead yeah. when they came to their house, and they were watching them break in their door and kick their ass yeah. and everything. <laughs> wow. All right, we'll take a short break. We'll be right back. You we can do enough. that Deuce interview afterwards? Yeah, right after the break, we'll play the Deuce interview. Okay, it's a good one. All right, we'll it's be right short, back. Short, but fun. All right, you listen on Sensor Net Noise on MorningShowCentral.com. Uncensored Net Noise. Every Friday night, 9 p.m. Eastern, on Morning Show Central Radio Network. MorningShowCentral.com. Got time on your hands? Oh, fuck! Ow! 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 Send us an email. Hit the Contact Us page on MorningShowCentral.com. You're listening to Uncensored Net Noise. User-friendly and ready to serve. MorningShowCentral.com. If you have a product or service, let people know about it. Get your message out there and advertise on MSC Radio Network. It's easier than you think. And the whole planet is listening. Find out how you can advertise. Email Chris at MorningShowCentral.com. Call the show toll-free, 1-888-668-0742. You're listening to Morning Show Central Radio Network on MorningShowCentral.com. If you're looking for the best in musical equipment, recording gear, sound reinforcement, and more, Guitar Center has you covered. Guitar Center, located at 26635 Brook Park Road in North Olmsted, has the tools of your trade. With the largest selection of music and sound gear in the area, they cater to your musical needs and have the knowledge to help you out. Guitar Center in North Olmsted. MorningShowCentral.com uses them. You should too. Need to know more? Go to GuitarCenter.com. MSC Radio Network has just tweeted the following. This bowel movement won't come out. Get <laughs> Check us out on Twitter at twitter.com slash MSC Radio Network. User-friendly and ready to serve. MorningShowCentral.com. 
Looking for reliable and affordable Shoutcast audio or video hosting? JWN Media offers complete Shoutcast hosting solutions for business or personal use. All plans come with full listener stats, custom web scripts for implementing your service into your existing website, full server control, super fast network, and huge bandwidth limits. A 99.5% uptime guarantee and friendly, knowledgeable support personnel dedicated to making your hosting experience fun and easy. With plans starting at only $3 a month, you have no excuse not to get a server of your own. Plus, with the option to add auto DJ and on-demand services, you can be confident your station will be all it can be. Custom plans are also available at their website. Simply visit jwnmedia.com and click the Shoutcast hosting link to get started right now. This is President Barack Obama, and you're listening to MSC Radio Network. Hey, local bands and unsigned artists. What if I told you there was a place in Cleveland where you can get your merch made and have it sold in one location? What if I said you could bring your CDs and tickets to upcoming shows to this location? And what if I said you could do live acoustic sets at this location? I bet you're thinking there's no such place in Cleveland. Guess what? You'd be wrong. Contact Rick Navario at Rock City Cleveland and tell him you need merch made and you want to sell it in his store. Now, how cool is that? You can tell your fans to come down and get your stuff. And I think he'd ship your products to your fans. And he's local. Contact Rick Navario at Rock City Cleveland today. 216-622-0377. That's 216-622-0377. Time in your hands. Send us an email. Hit the contact us page on morningshowcentral.com. You're listening to Uncensored Net Noise. Net noise. <laughs> Check out Uncensored Net Noise every Friday night, 9 p.m. Eastern, right here. Uncensored Net Noise on morningshowcentral.com. There's more to life. Than mindless, entertainment. than mindless entertainment. You'll find out right after our show. Welcome back to Uncensored Net Noise. It's Uncensored Net Noise. Welcome back to Uncensored Net Noise. Live on MorningShowCentral.com. If you'd like to call the show, 1 888 668 0742. The following message is for those with a credit score of 800 and below. Who wouldn't want better credit? Did you ever wonder how different life would be from just having a higher credit score? Are you tired of being turned down for any kind of loan or only offered high interest rates because your credit score is holding you prisoner? Life doesn't have to be that way anymore with access to TurnScore. By increasing your credit score only 50 to 100 points, it can potentially save you tens of thousands of dollars in interest over just a 5 to 10 year period. It can be the difference in getting approved for a personal loan, business loan, high limits on credit cards, a brand new car lease, or even a home mortgage. We see so many ads from companies that give us our credit score, but once we get our credit score, what are they going to do to actually repair your credit? Unfortunately, nothing. Until now, TurnScore is the first automated credit repair platform that is simple, safe, and secure. You'll be empowered right from the comfort of your own computer, so you can challenge and repair your credit report to ensure it's fair and accurate. Turn score is specifically developed with you in mind. There's no more need for an attorney, credit repair companies, or credit counseling. More importantly, no more need for paying higher fees. Turn score will help you get back on track and get the buying power you need. So whether you have bad credit, average credit, or even good credit, Turn score is helping turn lives around one credit score at a time. Go to turnscore.com and enter the promo code MSC20 and get 20 bucks off your purchase. That's T U R N S C O com T-U-R-N S-C-O-R dot com Turnscore dot com I know, I know, oh my god, I know what we're gonna do. Oh, it's so delicious, I can almost taste it. If you're looking for the best sub shop in town, look no further. Hanini Subs, located at 7310 Lorraine Avenue, is the place for you. Stop in for a cold cut sub, cheeseburger and fries, wing dings and fries, and so much more. I can almost taste it. Hanini Subs at 7310 Lorraine Avenue is open 24 hours a day. Check them out on Facebook, facebook.com slash burrito crazy. And if you mention MSC Radio Network, you'll get a dollar off your meal. It's all good at Hanini Subs. So damn good. 
having problems with your home computer or business PC? Looking to have some upgrade work completed on your computer? Have a special project in mind that may be too much for you to undertake alone? Time to call Joe the Printer Guy! Joe the Printer Guy offers a full-service hardware and software repair center at his facility to handle your PC, server, and networking needs. Let their professional service staff handle your computer needs. They offer expert service at an affordable price. Visit Joe the Printer Guy at 14035 Madison Avenue, Lakewood, Ohio. Online, JoeThePrinterGuy.com or give him a call at 216-651-3880. Joe the Printer Guy. This is Dominic, Michael. Michael! What's your name? Clara! And she's over, she's got real yeah. boobs. Those are real tits. Those are real titties? Yeah. Do you want to, do you want to poke them? They look nice, yeah, man. Yeah, poke them and make sure they're real. My girlfriend will get mad. We just, we just met. We won't tell him. I'm sorry. She's only 15 anyways. <laughs> oh, really? She looks like she's like 23 or something. That's how old she was. You know? No, she's, no, she's only 16. <laughs> So, man, it's really cool to meet up with you again. Last time we saw you, we saw you at Blossom. Yeah. That was, that was a real cool show you did. So, you've been on the road. So, so what the hell's been going on? Man? Uh, we've been recording a new EP right now. So, uh, should have some new music. We should be back out here. Just rocking out, you know? Nice, man. What up? Yeah. Yeah, you headlined, what was it, Jägermeister stage yeah. tonight, man. Yeah. How was the reception out there? It was dope, dude. The crowd was amazing. Uh, it was hot as fuck, but yeah. amazing, man. The kids are dope nice. as fuck. Stoked to be out here rock on the range, you know. It's fucking, it's good shit. How are the numbers but, coming out for you for the... Good, dude. Nice. A lot of people buying CDs, buying nice. merch, you know. People like the CD still, you know, so uh, it's kind of still fresh, you know. It's a good CD. You got the tour, you got a tour bus yet, or you got that, the camper thing? We got the camper thing, oh, but we'll... I like it. Though, we right? do tour bus sometimes, you know. Nice. It all depends on the budget, the tour, you know. I gotcha. We don't give a fuck, you know. Oh, I know, yeah. We'll roll band, tour bus, RV, it don't matter. It's all the same shit to us, man. So, so is party still going on with you? Party? Yeah. On the radio? No, no. You're, wait, could you just make your own your, your party guy? Yeah, I, I party. I'm, yeah. I'm drinking right I know now. that, man. What's what's wrong with partying, man? No, I'm, I'm on your side on yeah, that. Yeah, it's rock and roll, man. It, yeah, man. I party. I have a good time. Why wouldn't I? That's it. You know man. what I'm saying? That's right. So, is there any truth to the rumor that you bought that camper from Manowar, and they they actually left some of the loincloths in it, and when you guys are rolling down the freeway, you put the loincloths on and play Guitar Hero to Manowar tracks? Some of that's true. Probably the Guitar Hero to Manowar tracks, but we didn't buy it from them, no. We bought it from some random dude in the valley. But well, you're not going to deny that you wear the loincloth. Well, I won't deny that. We sometimes wear loincloths and play Guitar Hero. Nice. <laughs> Two different songs. <laughs> so do you have any new? Ma- we were talking before about the mask that you had that yeah. you're going to be putting them online and selling them. Are you? Has that, that come to a fruition yet? Uh, not yet, but it will. It will. You know, as more songs come out, more stuff comes out, more masks will come out. Yeah. So we're rocking out. You know, we got the whole band here. We're. Uh, how'd you like the show? Oh, really good, man. Oh, you had fun out there. Oh yeah. He, yeah. he came back raving about it. He he let yeah. me to man the poop deck and do interviews. That's good. That's, yeah, that's good. Uh, he's like he's like all the he's like well, you got to check out this band Deuce. And then he's like all oh, all weekend. And then it, and then you guys are about to play and he's like hey uh, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Hold down the fort. Then he texts me two minutes later. He's like I'm going to see Deuce. Just fucking do the interviews. Yeah, that's it. Let's stop, man. Let's stop. Let's stop. Cool, man. Hey, we're going to let you get going because Lamb of God's playing over here. So I'm gonna let you, we're going to check that out and ship it. But I really thank you, man, for, for yeah. letting us back here. just talking bullshit with you, man. Thank you, man. I cool. appreciate you supporting us oh, and coming out, watching us, having a good time with us. Um, what song do you want us to play for you after this? America. The... Gotcha, man, man. Cool. Thanks, man.
Uncensored net noise. You sick of that Captain America movie in Cleveland yet? Do it, did I do what? I said, are you sick of that Captain America movie being in Cleveland yet? No, because I haven't seen it yet. Uh, well, I'm kind of sick of it now because wow. now they're messing over there by Fairview. Oh, come on. This is mini Hollywood now, man. Take advantage of that. I mean, tomorrow the shoreway reopens. Now you'll be yeah. able to f- drive on that again. But now they get over there by the bridge over by Fairview Hospital all closed up for a couple days and so they can shoot over there. You know what the problem is? What's that? You're a hater, man. No, I'm not. I love it when they're in Cleveland as long as they're not in my way when I'm trying to go somewhere. Why? <laughs> well, they're, they're in my way. I have to get somewhere. Well, it's still, you got to think about the big picture, literally. What's the big picture? A movie, duh. No, who cares? (laughs) Some people say that Chris is the devil himself. (laughs) But the devil probably has more hair. It's uncensored. It's uncensored net noise. All right, guys, we're back. You want to call the show? The number is 888-668-0742. Or get to the website, morningshowcentral.com. Jump in the chat. Dom's in there. You miss right, any part- no, I'm on Deuce's um, Facebook page. Oh, are you? All right, cool. If you missed any part of the show, go to our website, uncensorednetnoise.com, and you can download this and all the other shows that we did in the past. Um, What do we got on next week, Dom? I think that um, Conquer the Unexpected. think so. Yep. Um, Battle of the Bands. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. First round. Yeah, okay. My my daughter's yeah. boyfriend. Band? Yeah. Something? Yeah, okay. Cool. I heard their music. Any Is good? It band? It's called Cock what? Cock. Yeah, Conquer the Unexpected. Oh, okay. All right. Are you any good? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they have potential. They have potential. Well, they won the first round of Battle of the Bands, right? Yeah, they did. All right. Well, then it tells you right there they got potential, right? So, all right. So, what do we got over there, Diamond? In the news, anything good? Your mom? No, oh, that's well. No, we had your grandmother earlier. <laughs> yeah, we did a whole right. segment. Um, no, it's my mother. Well, your mother's yeah, mom. Well, Tony's nephew. grandma. Yeah. Okay. So this, so this, this idiot. Why is he an idiot? I'm about to tell you. I uh, check this out. She got pulled over. Okay. It for a suspected DUI. Okay. And so the cop came out and was asking for his driver's license and proof of registration. Why'd he hand him a damn beer? <laughs> he wanted a party, man, because he had balls because he didn't chop them off and sell them. It takes mm-hmm. balls to hand a cop a beer. Would you do that? Hell yeah, I'd do that. I've probably done that in the past. Give him your testicles? No, a beer. How many oh. times have you been arrested? <laughs> Enough. Enough. <laughs> <laughs> See those tattoos on them? That's from jail. Those are jail tattoos? These are all jailhouse tattoos. Awesome. No, absolutely not. The great Ron did these over at Generation X. Mm-hmm. That's a, How much time did it take you to do all that shit? Oh, dude. Long time. When I got my tattoos, tell me if this was, was your reasoning behind getting tattoos. I wanted to be like you. No, because this, this is my thought. I have so much money. Did he ever show you a snake? No. So ch- if you if it's a trouser snake, if you pull that school, no, yeah, I went to school either. with them and show me. I'm gonna be mad. No. Right there, a snake. Oh, okay. <laughs> I got I got nervous when he went like that. I was yeah. like, dude, I just told you don't do that. He's going <laughs> I, to do it. I opened up my sweatpants, <laughs> let my anaconda out. All right. So, what are you saying about tattoos now? So I got my tattoos because I figured I just got an inheritance. You know, my father died a couple of years prior to that. So I had like ten thousand dollars. So that's where you got that tat right there in your belly for it no, from? No, I got this when I was in the Navy in the Philippines. Okay. I think I paid sixty bucks for it. Did they use a tattoo gun or did they No, they had they they tapped it in. Oh that fucker. That's hard. Bamboo. That's old school, man. Fuck yeah, man. I beat that little gook's ass. 
I didn't want really? to say. I didn't want to say ass. Because yeah, ass was the offensive term there. Right, right? exactly. <laughs> That's what I took offense to. Fuck I don't yeah, say that, that fucking tunnel runner, <laughs> motherfucker. All right. Well, I'll give you. I'll let you. I'll let you slide since you want. You, you were in the service and you. You. I'll. I'll you know when I got this. Right. When I got this tattoo on my stomach, of this fucking gigantic, fucking animal. I I went there with this with this har. Whore. So I had I had to get drunk. I needed somebody to coax me into it, you know, be my support while I was there. I know the guys wanted to go there, and they were like, you fucking weirdo. You ain't doing shit. You ain't getting no tattoo. So I want to go, man. And so I went there with this with this whore. I didn't have to pay her or nothing like that. She was just like a friend. Yeah. So. um Okay, go on. So we, I was there with her, and she was telling me stories. I couldn't understand a fucking word she was saying. But she was talking to me, talking this gibber shit. So, Miss Adam, you want to go now? Get tattoo. She, she was like, oh, you all so much to eat my chicken feet? <laughs> so, she, I, I, you know, I, I forget I did. I had to buy her chicken feet afterwards. Barbecue what? chicken feet. You, you tell me you never had chicken feet before. No. Talons on? Yep. And that's what it was. Just a, It was the foot. It was on a stick, like a kebab. And it was barbecued. They had the little nails on it. Too. Use it as a back scratcher while you're eating the no, other No, I one. use it as to pick my teeth with it, like little toothpicks. Nice. It's fucked up. Okay. Because you could, you could, picture it, but just, Chris, you got to look at this. When you're eating, you got to take the little fingers and you just like like little ears of corn. Because there's like hardly no meat on those little fuckers. Okay. They leave the nails on, are there yep, nails the nails on their stuff? Like said, That's pick, stupid. Pick teeth. No, man, it was really good, the barbecue sauce. Because you can have your choice of the chicken foot. Wait, 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 wait. So stop, stop. So you're you're, you're you're in Asia, and they have barbecue sauce there. Fuck yeah! You gotta remember this is maybe a third world. Country. That's where I'm calling bullshit. Yeah, right. No, <laughs> right. There's no barbecue sauce there. Yes, there was. No, there wasn't. It wasn't like barbecue sauce like here. Barbecue sauce. Yeah. It was oh like no, this sweet is this and sour is, sauce or something. Oh no, this was this was fucking really 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 good shit. I can go on my Facebook page and find one of the guys in the Navy with you want to talk monkey so meat. So you fucking shit. crazy round? I didn't know barbecue sauce. We ate <laughs> right. Exactly. We ate fucking monkey meat. I ate bat dogs. I we talked about all this before. No wonder you're fucking goofy. Why? Because I've eaten other you animals. You ate fucking dog, man. So what? I have a dog, man. It just so breaks I know my what heart. Your, I know what your dogs taste like. Your chihuahuas. <laughs> I bet you do. That ain't that tasty. They're tough. That's right. Right. You know. You know. You know. When you, especially when you get to the testicles. No. Dog balls. No. Dog balls. <laughs> so wait, wait. So so you'll eat other. Never mind. Go on. I so see you'll eat other balls. No, I didn't. I didn't. No, I didn't. If it was cooked in the stew, I ate it, but... Unknowingly. As far as I know, it was just meat, because it was a, a rice and stew. Mm. Oh, you want to hear the story? I'll tell the story. Yeah. That's a good story. The ball soup story? No, this is to eat my dog. So you already know what happens at the end, so we're like... It's like Jeopardy now. So I'm going to tell you what happened. So this is in the Philippines in 1986. Jesus Christ. Here we go. 86. No, 89. The second time I was there. And so I met up, I met up with this chick named Faley. This Filipino lady. Okay. She was a nurse. So she had money. She had a real job and all that shit. She wasn't like fucking little street whores and shit like that. And so it's cool when you go to these countries because once you figure out how the system works out there, you take advantage next time you go back out there. So I hooked up with this chick. Had been do nothing, nothing sexual. It was just, it was, it was strictly, you know, we're going there to bring, I'm going to hook her up with some money and stuff and she's going to do stuff for me, you know. In other words, I, I gave her like 40 bucks or whatever. And in return, she'd make meals for a week. That I was there, and my friends would come over from the ship, and right. she'd have this big spread of food out. As his phone's vibrating, and it's Kelly on the other line saying, uh, don't come home, motherfucker. No, it was, it was the guy who, who's going to be on next week. His okay. band, uh, he's he's playing there tonight. Okay. So I was going to ask him if, um, if he hit polka dots on you. Okay. So, um, so I told her. Blah, blah, blah. We had all this food. And I gave her the money, whatever. I gave her all my dirty clothes, and she would wash all my clothes up. So now you know how that how that sets up every yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. So you had a slave. $40 yeah, bought you a slave. Right, exactly. How badass is that? We <laughs> right. need to go there. And it was a hacienda. It wasn't a fucking cheap little um, hut. It was a nice-ass fucking house. Okay. So I'm walking down the street, and these people sell all kind of weird shit up on the street down on, on um, oh, what the hell's name is it? Mike Sai Sai. His nope. name is Street Okay. in Alangapo City in the Philippines. I never heard of it before, but okay. So um, these people were selling these little puppies, and I saw this little puppy, and I'm like, and I was with Faley, and I was like, 
I'd like to buy that. I want to buy this puppy. You know, she goes, oh, you get me puppy. I'm like, yeah, I'll get you a puppy. You take care of it for me. So I, I give, her, give her the puppy. I bought it. It was for like a dollar or whatever. I know where this is going. She's battening the dog up. <laughs> well, listen. So <laughs> right. I was there for a month straight in the Philippines. Right. Every single day they had a restaurant there called Wimpy's. You know, Wimpy's is they sell hamburgers. Right. So I would get a little hamburger from there. And every day I'd go to her house. and I'd Did you get the, a hamburger on Tuesday for her? Every single day. <laughs> okay. But they didn't have real meat there. It was fucking weird. I, I, I caught it. All yeah. right. I, I got yeah. you, man. Right. So I'll pay you next Tuesday for a hamburger today. I don't know. Yeah, all right. Go on. So um, so I gave the dog a, a Wimpy's hamburger every single day I was there. Okay. And so we were pulling out of port at the end of the 30 days. And and I was just fucking with her. I was like, Failey, when I come back, um, she goes, what do you what you want to eat when you come back? I said, I'm going to hide, joke around. I want to eat, eat my dog when I come back. Oh, God. I didn't fucking think twice about it. We went over. We went over to the other countries. Went to Thailand and Singapore and Australia and mm-hmm. fucking Fiji, whatever. Right. Then we get back to the Philippines. There, she's waiting there in the pier. She's waving at you. Yeah, blood all over her hands. <laughs> cocktail trays <laughs> to serve you. Yeah. Right. Oh, I got more stories like that. So check this out. So <laughs> me and my friends, we, she goes, I gave dinner for you and stuff like that because they they know when we were coming in because we didn't, I, I couldn't call her or nothing. Right. They know when every fucking ship comes into port, where they're going, right. when they're coming back. I mean, it just, for some reason, they just know that shit. So she said she made dinner for <laughs> they got us. They radar, dude. <laughs> so, so me and my friends, it was like five or six of us, so we all went to her place. And had the full spread of food out there and a big pot of stew and another pot of rice. So we were all eating it. And at the very end, when I was all done eating and everybody else was done, I, just, I thought about it. I said, where's Wimpy at? You know, where's my little dog at? You're just fucking eating, Ronda. Yeah, she, she did. She did. She, did. <laughs> she goes, oh, you ate dog. You ate dog. I said, no, I didn't. I said, where the fuck's my dog at? I took it out back and shot it. <laughs> She, she goes, you ate dog. I you said, see Wimpy when you sit on toilet. <laughs> <laughs> I said, let me, where's his body at? She took me to the backyard and there was his carcass down there. Oh, it was fucked God. up, man. That it was horrible. We picked over the vultures have been oh my God. swarming oh my over. God. It was in her backyard. Beatles all over it. Right next right? to the garbage can. Wow. It's fucked up, man. People are I looked crazy. at him and said, Wimpy had the saddest little look on his face. <laughs> it was fucked up. It, it was, you know, the, now, when Where's I walked my in, hamburger? Every, all my other friends got sick when I when I said you just ate my fucking dog because nobody's ever eaten a dog. I almost got sick, but I didn't. I held it in. I, was, I thought I had to think about it. Well, how did she cook it? She she like a stew. She cut the it was diced up in little squares. Crazy the bitch, bitch, man! Stew. It was fuck. It wasn't bad. It was a little, it was a little tough. He loves the dog. Bad. Wait, wait. He loves the dog, but now it's not bad. Yeah, I had to look at the good positive out of it. He wasn't that bad tasting. <sighs> you believe this shit? It's fucked up. So when I come home after all this, I went home on leave and stuff. Bought another dog. <laughs> yeah, he bought a dog. My mother had wimpy too. <laughs> one, one of the reasons I left the Navy was because my mother had all these dogs and shit, and I just had to get the fuck out of there. So I got home there, and this dog jumped on me. I said, get the fuck off me, because I know what you taste like. <laughs> so I don't believe any of this shit you're saying right true, now, dude. It's a true story. No. true story. What makes it worse was wimpy had like a... Horribly big obsession with licking his ass more than most dogs. He was always back there gnawing at something. Maybe that's why I was. The poor dog was, you know. Did you get worms in her ass? No. Right. <laughs> yeah, but the poor. Distemper. But the poor <laughs> dog. on the floor dragging his ass across the My anal fucking glands. rug. <laughs> anal gland. But the poor dog was, you know, looking forward to the wimpy hamburger. He was. I missed that. I think about him today and I still get sad. Wow. Oh, you want to hear another funnier story? No. Oh, this one's good. It says dealing with animals. In the same fucking street, they were selling animals. <laughs> I think it was like that fucking, the next day. It's like the Chinese pet smart. After, <laughs> Jeff, I think he's got problems, man. After I, I know this, he's got problems. After I bought this dog for her, the next day we went, when I got off my ship, these people were selling fucking little monkeys. <laughs> this is, you're gonna like, like the shoulder monkeys? You're gonna, yeah. The you're, spider you're, monkeys? Oh, you're going to love this one. And this is Sai Sai. It's in the Book of World Records. You the fuck's a Maasai Sai? That's the name of the street. Okay. Mag, Mag right. Sai Sai. Right. It's in the Book of World Records for having the most bars and clubs on one street. It's a mile long. That's bar, 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 store. Bar, 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 bar. Then this little store on both sides street all the way down. They would You would have drinking parties. See how far you can go before you can get fucked up, before you had to get carried back to your ship. You usually get like six six um, clubs in your back of the ship. 
He never made it all the way down the street. How, how far did you make it to? I don't. Even, I didn't make it too far because we were doing pictures the of first Mojo. bar. We do. We drink pictures of Mojo. We get like four four clubs and we back. Oh, sake. So so I I was with I was with Failey. Yeah. And I had a couple extra dollars in my pocket because I just got paid, and buy Chinese food at. That's right. So I was like, I want to buy this monkey. Fuck, why not? So I'm walking around with this monkey. It was so cute because the monkey like walks around your shoulders and shit, and like plays with your ears and shit. And you could, you know, so I, I was bonding with it for, for for a couple minutes. I get a little bit farther down. I know you're getting ready to hit a sound effect. So I get so these people are selling balloons. Now you remember I said this is like in book world records. You buy a monkey a balloon. Just just wait. This gets fucking funnier. So it's like a, a it's like downtown. You know, fucking there's hundreds of people all up and down the street. I mean, it's fucking really really busy. Mm-hmm. So I started. Buy, I bought a balloon and I tied it to the monkey's hand. And I'm like, fuck it. <laughs> no, it didn't. I said, that. fuck it. I bought all the balloons and tied it to this, this fucking monkey. This is bullshit. Monkey. This is bullshit. This I know bullshit. where it's going. It's yeah. bull- I'm calling horse shit on it right now. I know and, where he's going. And you let the fucking thing go and he floated away. There's no it went, fucking way. It went right down, down the main There's street. There's no way, dude. They, street, dude, they yeah. proved this on Mythbusters. That's a fucking house. No, no, they didn't. They took it and tied it. The up. monkey was this fucking big. It was like six inches high. Then that's the world's smallest monkey. There's no fucking way. It was a baby monkey. It was the fucking shoulder monkey. This horse shit. Right. So I had some. Come on, let me finish my story. Don't be tearing it up yet. So I fucking tied, let me finish your story I tied the balloons up. up to the monkey and I fucking let the monkey go. And the monkey floated right down the main strip. It was like a fucking float, like in fucking Macy's parade. This monkey's fucking freaking out, going crazy and shit. And the monkey then all of a sudden just went up. Now you gotta remember in the Philippines they got thousands of islands out there, which they fucking some of them. So they, this, so the monkey landed on the next island you went to when you the went monkey's to port. a fucking refugee now, is what you're saying. <laughs> Now I'm thinking. So thing you got you were, wait wait. So you got back on the boat. You you sailed away to another island. And, and the monkey three months right later, the monkey baby. was on a ship. Right, exactly. <laughs> no. <laughs> the <laughs> fuck, dude. You guys are making this funnier than it is. So no, I'm just thinking that monkey's fucking gone. I mean, you see, you know, when you put a balloon up, how high it goes. Right. That fucker was gone. And now I'm, now I'm getting to the point that if it went to another island, just think you got these headhunter islands. Where they got fucking, they don't have the no blow food darts. Shit. So they're like, fuck they're, monkey. They're, they're praying, praying for food to come down. To it's them. like one of them cargo planes dropping yeah. food. It's, it's a, Somali. It's a fucking monkey. T- oh God, it's in this monkey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got another monkey story. You want to hear another monkey story? I don't want no more bullshit monkey stories. I like monkeys. <laughs> Now this is a, this is a fucking fuck way. The monkey floated across it's the it. island to the next one or whatever, and you got headhunters fucking shooting at it. <laughs> Look, monkey! <laughs> if you know anybody who's been in the, in the navy, ask him. Yeah, I some, do, Dom. If you know anybody else, tell them. To, ask them to tell you some sea stories. They're fucking wild, but they're all true. It's I don't believe. I don't believe this one. I don't happened. believe this monkey one. I'll f- I got a picture of the monkey somewhere at home. Floating in there. No, no, I got a picture of us holding the monkey right before we did well, the Well, that doesn't prove anything. Right. Well, that proves that you had a monkey. That doesn't prove it that. It didn't even prove that you bought the monkey. Right. It could be some fucking guy. Oh, come it on. It could be the guy that has the orange and watermelon stand, and that could be his like, cashier or something. Or, the monkey's could, or it could have been the guy. the guy that had the accordion was playing it, and the fucking <laughs> monkey played it. Or, and the monkey started dancing on the, on the street or something. Well, was dancing monkeys or something. Are you serious? Yes. I don't believe anything. Was the movie Every Which Way But loose, Loosely Based on Your Time in the Navy? No. Exactly. <laughs> right. So check this out. So I got picked up by this chick in Thailand. Time's getting around the Orient. Yep, I did. Dude, you get around everywhere. Listen to this, man. This one's fucked up. So um, this chick talked me into taking, taking, her back, taking me back to her place. So I don't know. I was fucking wasted. So... I fucking woo. I, she goes. It, it's not that far. It's not that far from here. This is in this is in Patia Beach. She's taking you to the enemy base. Oh, just wait. Listen <laughs> to this shit. So we get in these fucking little bus and we ride this fucking bus for fucking ever. And it's getting dark. And we get to the last stop. And we're like, where the fuck are we at? They have bus stops. We're there. like in the middle of fucking. No, I mean the jungle. Wait, wait. The they, jungle's just stop. starting. They got bus stops there. This is no. They're taking you from like one one village to another village. You go village hopping. It was from Patty Beach to Bangkok. Where what, I was, going. was was this a civilian bus or was this a military oh, civilian, bus? Civilian civilian stuff. Okay, they were small right. little jitney buses. Okay. Those buses with no sides and shit. Yeah, it's all. I'll pull yeah. up here a second. So um, did a black guy punch out someone no, on the bus? No. no okay. There. All right. So um, we got off this bus and we got on a trike. <laughs> 
That's when the little the guys riding this moped. Oh god! And, and we sat in the back, me, me and this chick, and we just fucking went down these fucking roads, these winding roads in the jungle, and then we went to it stopped. Then we ended up walking, fucking seemed like for hours, and then we we were at this hut. <laughs> This is Didn't up. you have to be back on a fucking boat by this time? No, I'm right, exactly. I was off, like, were, were you I was AWOL? Off, I was off the next day, too. <laughs> wait, do, wait, do, wait, stop. You you need to go back to the boat to, 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 to let, you know, to check in, right? No, you have liberty. When you have liberty, you only got to be back on your ship on, like, once every three days or something. Yeah. And then you have, you have to be on there for 24 hours. So I was off, like, for two days straight or whatever. So I'm walking through the jungle, then we end up in her, in her hut. And fucking, I was drinking some shit and I passed out. Wait, you're on a boat and you're, now you want to walk through a jungle? Well, a jungle? I, didn't, I told you, I didn't know where I was going. She All was right. taking me somewhere. You're so right. full of shit. You're reciting Rambo 3. Is what right, you're exactly, doing. Yeah. Predator. <laughs> I'm waiting for the fucking <laughs> alien. Apocalypse now and shit. <laughs> right, I'm waiting fucking, for the... I'm going down the river. Jockey. Jockey. What's that, what's that 360 game? Uh, Dead Island. That's, that's what you're reciting <laughs> right there. <laughs> so let's check it out. So I passed out, okay, in the hut. And so, now I woke up in the morning... Felt shit fucking hit my forehead and my arm. I'm like, what the fuck? I looked around. There's fucking his heart was full of monkeys and monkeys shit. Monkeys throwing his shit, hey? <laughs> no, they, were doing shit. they were just fucking going through everything. I'm like, what the fuck? I didn't know, I didn't know where I was at. You were at a zoo. I think it was like opium and shit I was drinking. No, you were. <laughs> it might have been. It was fucked up. You were, I just saw monkeys everywhere. I was like, I ain't get the fuck out. Get me the fuck back. You were chipping here. hard, dude. <laughs> you were drunk at the Metro Park Zoo. <laughs> That's where you were. You were never in the Navy either, were you? Right. I was on Monkey <laughs> Island. I was stationed there. <laughs> right. Wow, I can't believe this. All right, what what happened to the guy with the beer? Anyway. Fucking, that story can't be better than one I just told you. <laughs> no, but what happened to the guy? I don't know. Did he fucking went to jail? He went to jail. Yeah. All right, okay. cool. We're gonna take take our last <laughs> break of the night. We'll come back. We got uh, some information about Paula Dean. I guess she uh, decided to throw us out. Throw Crazy out, old bet. Right, throw out some racial uh, epithets. So we'll uh, talk about that when we come back. You're listening to Uncensored Net Noise on MorningShowCentral.com. You're listening. You're listening to Morning Show Central Radio Network. <laughs> Don't touch that mouse or we'll come to your home and pistol whip you. Ah! You're listening to Morning Show Central Radio Network. Right here on MorningShowCentral.com. Hey, this is Pete Snyder from Twisted Sister. And you're listening to Uncensored Net Noise. If you're looking for the best in musical equipment, recording gear, sound reinforcement, and more, Guitar Center has you covered. Guitar Center, located at 26635 Brook Park Road in North Olmsted, has the tools of your trade. With the largest selection of music and sound gear in the area, they cater to your musical needs and have the knowledge to help you out. Guitar Center in North Olmsted. MorningShowCentral.com uses them. You should, too. Need to know more? Go to GuitarCenter.com. You want a date? I'm going to puke on you. Gee, I don't think I have a price for that. You're listening to Morning Show Central Radio Network. Right here on MorningShowCentral.com. If you have a product or service, let people know about it. Get your message out there and advertise on MSC Radio Network. It's easier than you think. And the whole planet is listening. <laughs> Find out how you can advertise. Email Chris at MorningShowCentral.com. <laughs> Looking for reliable and affordable Shoutcast audio or video hosting? JWN Media offers complete Shoutcast hosting solutions for business or personal use. All plans, full listener stats, custom web scripts for implementing your service into your existing website, full server control, super fast network, and huge bandwidth limits, a 99.5% uptime guarantee, and friendly, knowledgeable support personnel dedicated to making your hosting experience fun and easy. With plans starting at only $3 a month, you have no excuse not to get a server of your own. Plus, with the option to add auto DJ and on-demand services, you can be confident your station will be all it can be. Custom plans are also available at their website. Simply visit jwnmedia.com and click the Shoutcast hosting link to get started right now. Hey, local bands and unsigned artists. What if I told you there was a place in Cleveland where you can get your merch made and have it sold in one location? What if I said you could bring your CDs and tickets to upcoming shows to this location? And what if I said you could do live acoustic sets at this location? I bet you're thinking there's no such place in Cleveland. 
Guess what? You'd be wrong. Contact Rick Navario at Rock City Cleveland and tell him you need merch made and you want to sell it in his store. Now, how cool is that? You can tell your fans to come down and get your stuff. And I think he'd ship your products to your fans. And he's local. Contact Rick Navario at Rock City Cleveland today. 216-622-0377. That's 216-622-0377. Call the show toll-free, 1-888-668-0742. You're listening to Morning Show Central Radio Network on MorningShowCentral.com. Oh, wow. Language. Okay, he was PMSing. You're listening to Morning Show Central Radio Network. Check out Uncensored Net Noise every Friday night, 9 p.m. Eastern, right here. Uncensored Net Noise on MorningShowCentral.com. Oh, great. Not another Farm Bill request. Check us out on Facebook at Facebook.com slash MorningShowCentral. Denying one Farm Bill request at a time. <coughs> Prepare to get your cock rock rock. to Kingdom Go! Huh? Welcome back to the show that doesn't discriminate. We'll bang everyone equally. You can handle that? You got a job. It's Uncensored Net Noise. It's Uncensored Net Noise. Welcome back to Uncensored Net Noise. Live on MorningShowCentral.com. If you'd like to call the show, 1-888-668-0742. Having problems with your home computer or business PC? Looking to have some upgrade work completed on your computer? Have a special project in mind that may be too much for you to undertake alone? Time to call Joe the Printer Guy! Joe the Printer Guy offers a full-service hardware and software repair center at his facility to handle your PC, server, and networking needs. Let their professional service staff handle your computer needs. They offer expert service at an affordable price. Visit Joe the Printer Guy at 1403. Five Madison Avenue, Lakewood, Ohio. Online, JoeThePrinterGuy.com or give him a call at 216-651-3880. Joe the Printer Guy. The following message is for those with a credit score of 800 and below. Who wouldn't want better credit? Did you ever wonder how different life would be from just having a higher credit score? Are you tired of being turned down for any kind of loan or only offered high interest rates because your credit score is holding you prisoner? Life doesn't have to be that way anymore with access to Turn Score. By increasing your credit score only 50 to 100 points, it can potentially save you tens of thousands of dollars in interest over just a 5 to 10 year period. It can be the difference in getting approved for a personal loan, business loan, high limits on credit cards, a brand new car lease, or even a home mortgage. We see so many ads from companies that give us our credit score, but once we get our credit score, what are they going to do to actually repair your credit? Unfortunately, nothing. Until now, TurnScore is the first automated credit repair platform that is simple, safe, and secure. You'll be empowered right from the comfort of your own computer, so you can challenge and repair your credit report to ensure it's fair and accurate. Turn score is specifically developed with you in mind. There's no more need for an attorney, credit repair companies, or credit counseling. More importantly, no more need for paying higher fees. Turn score will help you get back on track and get the buying power you need. So whether you have bad credit, average credit, or even good credit, Turn score is helping turn lives around one credit score at a time. Go to turnscore.com and enter the promo code MSC20 and get 20 bucks off your purchase. That's T U R N S C T-U-R-N-S-C-O-R.com. T-U-R-N-S-C-O-R.com. Turnscore.com. I know, I know, oh my god, I know what we're gonna do. Oh, it's so delicious, I can almost taste it. If you're looking for the best sub shop in town, look no further. Hanini Subs, located at 7310 Lorraine Avenue, is the place for you. Stop in for a cold cut sub, cheeseburger and fries, wing dings and fries, and so much more. I can almost taste it. Hanini Subs at 7310 Lorraine Avenue is open 24 hours a day. Check them out on Facebook, facebook.com slash burrito crazy. And if you mention MSC Radio Network, you'll get a dollar off your meal. It's all good at Hanini Subs. So damn good. Previously, Previously on Uncensored Net Noise. You came in the studio. Oh, I ate too much. Oh, I did. Yeah, I ate too much. I'm on Weight Watchers and shit. Yeah, everything you see, you eat. Fucking Weight Watchers. <laughs> yeah, Weight Watchers. Man, I was on Weight Watchers for probably like six months. It didn't work for me. I gained weight. I have to, and, and, no, and what I did was I realized what the Weight Watchers is. It's a fucking cult. 
They, they, they suck you in and they get you to buy all this horse shit, stupid food that tastes horrible. Then they say, oh, you can only eat so-and-so and you count your points. Then whatever's left over at the end of the week, then you can eat like a pig. No. It's stupid, man. It's a cult. <laughs> <laughs> If I were a show where a chick, we'd flash you our tits. Baby, I don't swing that way. Especially not with old guys. Welcome back. Welcome back to Uncensored Net Noise. All right, guys, we're back. You want to call the show? The number is 888-668-0742. I, you know what? I think there's a lot of pussies out there. Why? Because if you guys were fucking suck it up, call on the show. If you're listening to us, call in. If right. not, man, you're a pussy. Right. So, so I'm dark. still waiting for my... You know what? I have to coach him in. Bastard Bunny, I got to coach him. I got to do something political for in order for him to call in. Because that's the only time he calls in if I start doing political stories. Or if he starts talking stuff about anal. No, nah, he won't call in. He don't care. And you won't call in, you're already here. Right, yeah. exactly. So that's kind of out of the question. Come though. on, Bunny, call in. But if uh, you miss any part of the show, go to our website, uncensorednetnoise.com. I'm in the chat room. And Dom's in the chat room, too. And it's packed. Right. 64 people in the chat room. 64 people in the chat room. That's awesome. That's... Rename Uncensored Net Noise to the Dom Show. Yeah. That's what it says in the chat room. <laughs> awesome. Uncensored Net Noise, you're on the air. What's up? Hey, man. Dom, I got a question for you. Yeah, sure. I haven't called in a while, but I got a question for you. Do you, do you, I, I'm serious. You know, the giant eagle, solid bar thing, I believe that. Yeah. But I'm just curious. Do you make up this shit as you go along? No. Mm-mm. Or do you, is this, did you, did you actually, this actually happened yes, to you? Yes, it did. Right here. Every God. week I listen to the show, usually on repeat, okay? Mm-hmm. And I listen to the shit, and I'm like, there's no way this can happen to any normal person on the face of the earth. You gotta go overseas, yeah, this, this man. Shit always happens to you. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for you to talk about how the Navy sent you to South America and you were abducted by aliens and shit. But I okay, was I'm just waiting for that. No, no, I never did that. But I was in South America. I've been to Panama. I went down there and picked. I was part of the Noriega thing. And my my band was actually the one on on the flight deck playing Metallica songs. When fucking Noriega came out of out of the uh, synagogue, where the fuck he was in the synagogue. I don't know what because the they had those in Panama. It was a it was a Catholic church. It was, was, no, it? was the it was the Vatican. I'm sorry, it was the Vatican embassy. <laughs> Same thing, right? Different country. Tomato, tomato. Yeah. <laughs> What's the difference? You know, I can believe that. Yeah. That I can't believe because my dad, my father, actually was one of the last planes out of in 1969. So before Qaddafi took over, mm-hmm. back when the U.S. was there, Dom also so, stormed the beaches okay. at Normandy I, I believe, too. Okay, I totally believe your story now. Thank you. Did you know that? Yeah. Did you know that uh, Dom stormed the beaches of Normandy? Did not know. I, I knew. And that the too. monkey oh, stayed right on his shoulder awesome. with a little helmet and everything. He had a little God fucking monkey America, helmet Dom. on him too. <laughs> yeah. The whole time he's he's he's. he's, you're, he's pay, you're, you're I'm a patriot. Yeah, he the whole the whole entire time he's You're storming a patriot, the dude. Yeah. I'm a fucking ambassador of goodwill. Yeah, as he's storming the beaches, the monkey's on his shoulder with a machine gun. Hey, yeah, sometimes you got teach. Dom <laughs> drove a jeep and the monkey had the rail gun. They took out hundreds of guys that day. Right, exactly. He's the one that uh, yeah. then captured they w- the flag up there. Then Dom took the monkey back to the base and ate him. <laughs> right, fucked him first. Called him wimpy. Aww. <laughs> I miss that little fucking dog. Did, 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 uh, the, hill, the, hill of, the hill of San Juan with Theodore Roosevelt, the Spanish American War. That's right. That was I, wrote, him. I knew that. that horse. He's, he does a picture of him in the history books. <laughs> Dom was Theodore Roosevelt. Roosevelt was riding on Dom's shoulders. Oh, sweet. I gave, <laughs> I gave him the ticket to get there. <laughs> Maximum threshold radio show. That's right. <laughs> right. That's the only thing he does right now. He's no. He can't storm the beaches anymore. He's too busy filling his filling his face right now. Not me. <laughs> right. Uh, anything else, Bonnie? Before we let you go, I do appreciate you calling in, though. Yeah, Where you been? Where in the hell you been, though? No, anytime. I've been. I've been just uh, working. I've been they're using me like a. Bi- I'm, I'm just. I'm basically my company's bitch. Okay. Just doing all kinds of shit. Okay. Been all over the country. Went to Iowa. Did you? Very boring yeah. place. 
I've been to Wichita. That, that's very <laughs> nothing there either. Yeah, I, I, I'd go there too. Yeah, I'd never been there though, but I would go just to see what it's about. Yeah, I guess it's nothing there. Just the casino. There's a casino in Dubuque. Oh, we have those here in Cleveland too. It's <laughs> nothing, nothing exciting either. So, all right, Bunny, I appreciate it, man. Yeah, I did the ones that. Ladies, man, later. All right, later, dude. All right. Um, you still wanted to talk, man. You just got rid of him. I know. That's rude. No, I'm not. But I want to do the Paula Dean story. Did he get called in during that? We know, we know what happened with Paula Dean. Well, I want to find out. She's got to move to you Hawaii want, and be a bounty hunter with dogs. You just want to say now. this so we can tag this bitch, huh? Right. Fuck, I'm on it. I'm All on right, it. let's do this. So, Paula Dean. Come here, Jay. I knew you were going to call him. Why does he look like Paula Dean? No, he's not. Come here, Jay. He gets to play right. the role of Andrew You gotta hear Black the story. You know about you know what Paula Dean is, right? You know what's what's going on with Paula Dean, right? I got some right. I got some shit that I bought with her name. You know, it's endorsed by her. Did you really? I got some the pots. skillet. Yeah, I got a pot from Big Ass Red Pot. Okay, Cooking. and the Paula Dean think, butt plug. I'm thinking I'm gonna take that back. Well, I'm keep the plug. Keep, keep the yeah, plug. Keep, yeah. All right. All right. The batteries in dying it yet. <laughs> uh, let's see. Food Network drops Paula Dean. It's D E E N. Paula Dean, the self-proclaimed queen of Southern cooking, and a shit, shit, she had diabetes too. Right, and she cooked all the fucking most oh, yes, worst diabetes mm-hmm. type foods ever. So yeah. go on. Uh, let's see. I actually rubbed a couple out to some of her dishes. Did you really? Not her. Her dishes. Her dishes. <laughs> <laughs> she ever make monkey for you, dog? No, she did. it. Dog mm-hmm. hand babies. Damn hand babies. Yeah, I made a lot of those. Right. Okay. So check this out. So, she was dropped on Friday after a, a bewildering day in which she failed to show up for an interview on the Today Show and then in two online videos begged her family and audience to forgive her for using racist language. A network spokeswoman said it would not renew Mrs. Dean's contract when it expired at the end of June. Ms. Dean has faced a volley of criticism this week over remarks in a deposition for a discrimination lawsuit by a former employee. In the document, and she admitted she had used racial epithets, tolerated racial jokes, and condoned pornography in the workplace. Hmm. Don't this shit happen everywhere? I condone pornography in the, the workplace, thing, but, but I don't think right. about the racist yeah. thing, though. No, no. Now, she did drop the N-bomb. Yeah. All right. Um, let, me, let me get grab his mic real quick. All right, just grab his mic real fast. Now, when let me ask you this, though. I think it's played out. This whole end bomb thing. This it's 2013. I mean, if you're gonna still sit there and throw the, the racial uh, slurs around and stuff like that, I mean, I I, I I really think that it shouldn't shouldn't even be done anywhere. I mean, it's a stupid word, and no one should be using it in the first place. You know what I'm saying? So, I've always said that in the past, and I always will stick by that. But the 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 bottom line is, how do you feel about the whole? thing with paula dean i mean do you, do you know who she is and do you follow yeah, her i know a little bit of her about her and stuff because you know, my mother my grandmother um get closer get, yeah my grandmother gets some of her uh, re- uh, recipes but right as far as the racial thing it really doesn't bother me much right i don't really know her she doesn't really know me so so she, uh, so she, people use the word anyway so it's just like right it's kind of funny i mean we walk in the studio on saturday me and this is the reason why i bring them bring him in here uh, for this though, because we walk in here on Saturday and you hear it all day long right. during the hip hop shows, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I don't like the word. I keep trying to tell people in in the studio, don't use that word because I don't like it. And I, you know, I'm not black or nothing, but I just don't like the word being thrown around because to me, it's just it's ignorant, you know. And, and it's it's uncomfortable. Some people it makes other yeah. people uncomfortable. Exactly, exactly. So that that's the thing that you know, it's it's a stupid word. Should she lose her job over this? Should she lose, you know, get her contract renewed? You know, I don't know. Well, I think I think is, I think it's a little too. I think it's a little too much. I think it's a little bit, a little more to the story because I heard one story where she said she was about to have a party and she wanted a whole bunch of um, African Americans to work there and be there and act like they was the slaves. Right. Okay. Oh, that's well, then wild. that's one other thing though. But she, if she just dropped the N word, then. Yeah, I mean, I don't think it, that would be called for to lose her. Look at yeah. Dog the Bounty Hunter. He's still on the freaking air. You know? Not no, he's on CMT. Right. So, but he's still so on the air. Where he belongs. He's, he's right. right, he's down south. So. Maybe she'll go be a bounty hunter with him. Right, exactly. I might. It might be new, new Beth or something. I, I don't got, know. Well, this is what she said. She right. was in her first video on Friday post on YouTube. 
and later removed. Miss Dean, near tears, said, I want to apologize to all the fuck faces for the wrong I said. Fuck them assholes, cunt, dick sucking, motherfuckers, cock, bull, bitch. What the fuck? End quote. And totally, this is totally unacceptable. End quote. She said that for real? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. no. Oh, oh, she didn't say cunt. <laughs> no, Tom threw that one in there. But it just sounded good. She does have class. She wouldn't say cunt. Yeah. No, she right. She's a lady. Cunt. She's a lady from the South, so she wouldn't use the word cunt. But yeah, the thing is, is that, you know, it, it, should she lose her job just saying the N bomb? I don't think so. But if she was doing what, she, what you're telling me, where she's like, oh, I wish I had a bunch of black people to serve us, then yeah, okay. That's a different story because uh that 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 kind of went away a long long time ago and um it's to me it's yeah how ignorant. old is she she's probably in her 66 66, 66 years she old she kind of she's kind of borderline where it ain't well she still ain't old enough to be like back in where it was segregation so right i don't understand but she is down south yeah though. she it's did different down right it is right it is, it is down it's, it is totally different down south she, too. Needs, she needs a dark-skinned fella to turn her out <laughs> right That's all she needs so we should send our intern down there do you want to turn, turn shit out as far as we heard he ain't now nah, he ain't got nothing to turn arms. No, okay. She's too old. She might give me worms. She might give you worms. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know, dude. I, I don't if she did what she if, what you're saying she did, then yeah, she should lose her contract with A and E. Um if, if uh she just dropped the N bomb, no, I don't oh. think so. Because I mean that's kind of a little that's kind of yeah, that's going a little bit extreme with it, you know, so I'm sure there's other people out there they're on the radio. Room, they're, all they're gonna do is check this out. All they're going to do is, since she's done, they're just going to have fucking brown, fucking whatever the guy's name. They'll have somebody else fill in, do Jimmy another show. show. Well, here, here's the thing, though. Here, here, her son. Her son may do it because her son's a good cook. Right, exactly. That's, that might be a, a thing. But the, and there's daughters because she sucks good dick. Might be. Might be. I um, can't throw that out there. Oh, that's yeah, that's right. Right. So that's how they're going to get mom back in. Right, right. Or she's going to start dating a black man. And, and she that, say, "Look, I have one friend." Right, I have a black friend. I have a black friend, I can <laughs> right? <say it>. Yeah. <laughs> or she might have a baby at sixty-six. That's right. So, who knows? We'll see what happens. But yeah, uh, who was it? Don Imus. Yeah, Don Imus. He dropped that you know nappy-headed hoe thing yep. uh, for the Rutgers back, basketball girls basketball team or something like that. For the, what team? The Rutgers. Uh, basketball team like five years ago. yeah it was like five or six years ago or something like that but he got dude he got ridiculed big time for by Al Sharpton he didn't, and, use the, he didn't drop the end bomb but no he just said nappy headed hoes but so they were fucking nappy headed well. it wasn't his first time yeah he, that wasn't his first I miss his been a yeah I know it wasn't his first time though but th- this is the first time it was ever done in public though yeah, there has always been rumors that he's that he's been the sort of the racist type person you know, behind the scenes, but this is the first time that it, it was ever dropped in public on national television. Didn't he had that gay incident like a couple years before. I don't know. On some gay guy he might have. He said something about. That. Yeah, but I, I there's a lot of it going on. That's the thing. There's way too much of it going on, and I don't know. It, it, they make it they make it really huge, you know, big deal out of it though. I mean, if it if it is what it is, where she's actually saying that she wished she had black people to serve her and this, that, and the other, then, yeah, they should just get rid of her totally. Go ahead. I think they fired her because her her comments is helping her lose marketing for the show. Right, whatever, exactly. So that's right. probably where it's more about money than about the situation. But where's her show at? What what channel was it on? The Food, food Network. The food network. Yeah, but the Food Network yeah. kind of sucks What if they ever cooked monkey? I don't know. Call them and find out. Be cooking dog now. Yeah. Why don't we see if we can get them on the phone and find out? Call her. Call, call Food Network up. She's Just call them up. She's definitely a good cook, though. Yeah. Yeah, she is. And she's got diabetes, too. Yes, yeah, she does. Good for her. Right. Fucking fat bitch. Right. Yep. Fucking racial, <laughs> racist, racist fat bitch. She'd be right. sitting on her couch scratching her gunt tonight. That's right. Her gout. Yep. Right. Gouty Make gunt. sure you tag that. Paula Dean has gout. <laughs> gout in her gunt. That's right. And she eats fucking monkey meat. Monkey meat. Okay, awesome. No, I don't want to say that. Yeah, you gotta leave that alone. <laughs> you gotta leave that alone. You gotta leave that one. Why alone. not? Because imagine I'm, how many people pick up on that. It's in the context of the conversation. Right. Exactly. Oh, that's right. So, and this is all per Chris. No, it's you told per, me all the stuff about her. She's got attorneys and shit, doesn't she? She does. 
I take everything back. Everything I said was allegedly, and it's all through Chris. <laughs> okay. And MSC Radio Network. <laughs> and MaximumSocial.net. That's right. That's right. All right. Thank you. All right. I, I, I don't know. Uh, to me, it, And it, Spencer's culture. Is it still, no, he's gone. Damn. He's gone. Would it make you feel better, though, if there was just like a horrible word for white people? Like something so offensive, like when you said it, like all the white people like cringe. It is. Because honky is like, ho- I mean, that's there like, is, I, la- I, mean, I love I laugh when people yeah, call me that. Yeah, that's hilarious. Right. Yeah. Cracker. Or- What's the worst thing you ever called a white person? I, just say it. I don't yeah, give what, a fuck, What do dude. you guys call white people? Yeah, what that's do you call like, white if people? we knew, we would be like, that's the white N-word. Yeah, what's the white N-word? It ain't really one. It's, back in the day, it was honky, but that's just right. comical. Right, that's just comical. Right, right. Really right. There's, yeah. What's the worst thing you ever said to a white person? Go ahead. You can do it. I don't care. You fucking cracker. Cracker ass cracker. Oh, right, exactly. Chris Rock, yeah. I'm not about race. I'm like, if you a dumb motherfucker, you a dumb Right, exactly. Asshole's an asshole, that's straight exactly. up. Exactly, yep. exactly. That's, that's why, you know, yeah, you're right. If you're an asshole, you're an asshole. That's it. But I don't think, yeah. If there was a word, would it bother me? What could, the no. new word can be Dean. Yeah, Paula Dean. Dean. You fucking Dean. You fucking Dean. Yeah, there you go. That's the new word. Would that offend you? I don't know, Mike. You'd lump me in with that old twat, man. Yeah, yeah. Big. <laughs> they're right. Because see, that's a different thing too. Because she comes from money and all that, so she's not the same. Right. It's a different. But she had we're money. Roach class compared. I got to her. a song about her. She had she had money before the uh, whole TV show too. Right, but I mean, she's been entitled and privileged her whole life. Right. So she looks down on everything differently than. Right. Exactly. All right, you got a song down for uh, Miss Dean? Yes. All right, you ready to play it? Paula Dean needs a big black dick to go straight in her mouth and out her ass. Man Dingle would turn her out, but white man never will. She needs a big black dick in her ass and in her fucking mouth. Oh, she's a little racist cunt. You fucking little bitch <laughs> You little whore Paula Dean You little whore Paula Dean You little cunt You little fucking whore Come on, sing on Paula Dean You little bitch Suck a big black fucking dick <laughs> Paula Dean, you little whore. This song is dedicated to you. Paula Dean needs a big black penis. I have tears in my eyes. It was beautiful. Right, it was beautiful. I don't know what to say. What do you? Hey, did, did you like that in there? Um, wasn't it on Tom Kiefer's new album? You liked it? Yeah, I think it I was. Think it was. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like that in there, Jay? Yeah. Awesome. Okay. See, w- see, w- we we stick up for the black people. So that's cool. great. Yeah. You can give jobs. Right. How much you pay him? Nothing. He's not. Damn. Damn. He's an intern. Fuck, he threw that you know what? He's deaning them. <laughs> but the but the thing is though, I wish I could because he is a really good intern, and I like I love to keep. Which uh, bitch him because he didn't take the garbage out and he didn't sweep and didn't clean your table off or take and. Fucking go get you a lunch and shit. No, he don't buy me. Then lunch. you had him out there with the Mexicans. I, the I never, I never, I don't think I ever, ever, ever sent him to go get my lunch. Have I ever sent you to get my lunch? Be honest. See, what's what do you? I mean? think the worst thing I ever let him made him do is go to the gas station to get me an iced tea. That was about it. That's not bad. That's not bad, right? Yeah, that's okay. I think I offered him one and he didn't want. It. I got a question for you. Speaking yeah. of this, since we're on this. How many white and how many black interns have you had on, on your on this station? Um, what do you think the ratio is? I think it's like maybe thirty percent black and maybe. No, wait. I take that back. I think it's more of like. No, it's actually fifty fifty. Mm-hmm. It is fifty fifty, because the first part in Lakewood, it was a mixed bag. Yeah, and then when we came over here to the new studio. It was more predominantly. Uh, cause I'm just, black. I'm just, I'm just yeah. curious. I mean, I'm not trying to make yeah. a racial thing out. Of it. I'm just curious of what you know, what kind of people are going for pursuing their, their whatever in communications. Yeah, there's well, there's a lot of them. 
uh, a lot of people that that are trying to get into the field of radio and mm-hmm. communications and stuff like that. The only problem with that is there's no fucking jobs out there for any of them. Yeah, I mean they can go to school and spend one hundred and fifty thousand dollars on schooling and then get out of school and then all of a sudden it's like, um, where do I go now? And then there's nothing for them yeah. because everything's taken and. Everything's automated now, too. Yeah. There's no shows out there that are actually live anymore. There used to be DJs actually spinning music. Now it's just a computer saying, okay, uh, we're going to play track one through 50 and don't even have to have a DJ for it. What are we going to do to take this show to the next level? I mean, we're fucking just rolling around on the internet. Yeah. What what else what else is there to do? We need to go to we need to go to satellite. That's so the next what are we step. waiting for, man? Well, okay. We have the we have the programs, we have um the skills. I mean, fuck. We we've been doing this forever. Jeff just jumped right in there and he does a good job. Right, he does. Thank you. Um it takes this a lot of money. Yeah. And a lot of money is and not... a big dick. Exactly. Maybe we should rethink the so whole selling your balls thing. I see. Yeah. It, you know, all right. But look. not for 20,000. No, right. no, no. We we'll do like well, it'll be sixty thousand dollars if we cut our balls off right now. That's I'm down. What kind of space we get for sixty grand? Pretty know. nice space. We, yeah. I mean, where are we gonna be at? Hey, would you would you cut your balls off for sixty grand to get on uh, on uh, actual radio, Jason? No, look, dude, you can you can pack him with steel balls. He's good. So Jason's out. So it'll be just just the three of us, sixty grand right there. That's it. I was hoping to throw Jay in there. So that's eighty thousand dollars right there. So you know that would have been great. We had eighty thousand dollars. Give it to Sirius and say, "Give us a show." Mm-hmm. I'm down with that. You know, fuck Sirius. Where else is there to go? That's what we're yeah, that's about. it. That's it. Sirius or XM. We'll start our own. And they're guys, one in the same. Can you fucking shoot a satellite up in the sky? Fuck yeah! You can I, made a monkey go in the fucking air. You can make a satellite. I can probably fuck yeah, let's work on that. I can get a bunch of balloons. Can we do that? We can. We'll sh- get a fucking transistor radio, strap yeah. it to the monkey's back, and we'll go buy a dozen balloons and let him go. Right. Fuck yeah. And hopefully, it'll hit space. What station? I don't know. Yeah, WGAY. Right. <laughs> okay. Well, we're trying to get a satellite, not make a terrestrial. <laughs> WGAY. <laughs> All gay, all day. <laughs> exactly. Ah, you got the Hello Frisco? Uh, I don't know. I don't even think it's here anymore. Uh, no, it's not. It's not here no more. I got rid yeah, of it. Yeah, I'll do it. Hello, Frisco. I need a new one anyways. All right. I think that's going to do it for us. We're going to get the hell out of here. I think you guys want to go see Polka Dot Cadaver, too, at Peabody's. Peabody's? Peabody's. Let me go say hi to Chris. Right. Yeah. So... All right, we're going to get out of here. I want to thank uh, everybody that tuned in tonight. If you missed any part of the show, go to our website, uncensorednetnoise.com. There you can be able to find all the shows and all this other bullshit that we have up on the website. Uh, next week, we got a guest. Dom's working on it right now. I just was, I, I'll, I'll finish finishing it up because I was technical. Okay, so it's, is it for sure, though? I don't know. Oh, okay, I we'll don't see. know. Is it ever really for sure? Never, no. not with Dom. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we're going to get out of here. Are you going to ask who's on Maxim Threshold? Oh, yeah. Oh. we got a fucking big-ass show. Killer there. show tomorrow. All right, who do you got on your right, show? Give me a sec. i got to pull this up. Oh, Jesus Christ. We have Michael Strong. That's right. What else do you need to say? We, that's the end of the show right there. The Death Star. We've got JJ from Fight, uh, the band that Rob Halford just started right after he left Judas Priest. Okay. Uh, we got him. Who, Ole Anders on tomorrow. Yep. Scorpion Child. And Iron Tongue, we have Jason Tedford. Who the hell is Iron Tongue? Iron Tongue, Tongue they're, they're a pretty new kind of band, I guess you could say it. Uh, they're on that, uh, oh, I, didn't, I got on my drive, I'll give it to you. What they are, they're like a southern rock band. Okay. And it's like a Skinner with more feeling to it. All right. All right. If that makes sense, but okay. Skinner with more you gotta, feeling. You got to tune in, man. This interview with Scorpion Child, uh, Michael did, and that's pretty good. Awesome. The one with Ole Andrew, you get to hear me kiss their ass and... Yeah. Somehow I thought they were the best band ever. There's a fucking day. shock. Yeah. <laughs> right. All right. I think they're going to do it first tonight. We're going to get out of here. We'll talk to you again next week. we got some guests. I don't know who's coming on next week. What happens. Uh, maybe a local band. Uh, uh, Downcore was supposed to be on tonight, but they never made it in. So I think we did good. So we're going to get out of here. We'll talk to you again next week. And uh, peace. We're out. You just got to know when it's time to quit. Fuck that noise. We're not quitting. I think you can do better, Ted. I beg your pardon? I don't see anybody headed for the door. Listen to me. It's just like trying to fuck a Catholic girl who keeps saying, no, 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 I don't want to. I'm really, really drunk and you're circumcised. But she keeps on making out with you. She's not leaving your fear. It means she really wants to. She just needs a little bit of a nudge, right? A little bit of a coax, a little bit of a tickle, just to rationalize it to herself, to her God. Do you know what I mean?
Jesus H. Christ. Did you miss any of the show? You know, you keep hiding from shit in the world, and eventually the world comes to your front door. Nice. That's very nice. I heard an episode of Touched by an Angel. Then check out our website at MorningShowCentral.com and visit the archives for this and other past shows. Also, check out the games, photo galleries, chat rooms, and more. I heard that doing LSD can awaken your demons. (sighs) I ain't got no demons gonna get woke. The views and opinions expressed on this show are not controlled by the FCC. Our wives, girlfriends, gay lovers, or favorite barnyard animals. And if you have any complaints, call someone who cares. (laughs) Be sure to tune in next week for another sick and twisted edition of Uncensored Ned Noise. I don't want to kiss my microphone. If you have any questions, comments, bitches, complaints, or great stories about barnyard fetishes, shoot us an email at show at morningshowcentral.com. Still can't get enough of Uncensored Ned Noise? Then check them out at their website at uncensorednednoise.com. Or if you want to go the Facebook route, facebook.com slash uncensorednednoise. For all the sick videos, youtube.com slash uncensorednednoise. And be sure to check out the live show next Friday night, beginning at 9 p.m. Eastern, right here on MorningShowCentral.com. Your ad said you do wet work. That's correct. I urinate on other men for money. From Chris and the rest of the gang here at Uncensored Net Noise, have a great weekend. And we'll catch you next week.